Hello everyone, I'm the Saint of Soul, and this video is going to be an edited full playthrough of my empire here, the Seaworthy Imperium. So, this empire, the main idea behind it is we are going to be using the Selective Kidship uh, Civic, and we're going to be taking it to its extreme with Aquatics and their Hydrocentric Ascension perk. So we are going to be delving into everything Aquatic and really leaning into Selective Kinship because I feel like it's an interesting Civic, and I've never played with it before, and I don't really see many other people playing with it, so... We will be exploring it today. Uh, the main, or well, the backstory of our people here, the kin, is that they share their world with a avian species that is named the Ski, and that avian species really kicked the butt of the kin for a very long time, and they they ruled the skies and the land until a ancestor of our leader here, Hubert Seaworthy, of House Seaworthy, they uh, united the kin in an empire and defeated the Ski for the first time and took them as slaves and all kinds of stuff. So the Seaworthy uh, Imperium is named after House Seaworthy and the Kin still follow the lineage and uh, their Imperial rule to this day. So we are going to be doing that. The galaxy and the game details are going to be fairly standard. We're gonna have a little bit more empires than normal. Um, crisis strength is gonna be more than normal. Everything is 50 years in advance. Uh, we're going to have the AI be a little bit buffed, a little bit buffed. And anything else you want to see, uh, you can pause the video and see now. But otherwise, I think this will be a fun and interesting playthrough. So let's get into it. All right, we've started here. We have our origin, the syncretic evolution, of course, of course. Uh, size 18 homeworld, that is actually fairly unlucky and we have unemployment too what's going on here why are you clerks instead of pearl divers yeah okay well I've I've fixed the economy woohoo oh we have a very interesting choke point system here when it comes to uh, yeah we have two worlds 14 size guaranteed spawn well wow, that is not very good. Not very good. Well, our start isn't too great so far. 18 size world, 14 size world. I guess we'll just have to get more worlds. But then again, we can only live on oceans, so... Unlucky. Uh, let's get our technology sorted here. Why not? Yeah, these... 14 size world for our guaranteed world and then 18 size capital that's unlucky what does our resources in our system look like three and two also poor hmm well we have not Cape Valor that's an interesting name for a moon yeah we do not uh, we do not have the greatest start our choke point though like looks very defensible it looks like we may just be in the very edge of the spiral here so assuming there's no connections here and here looks like we might have a very good choke point at the very least but otherwise questionable start of course we're also going to build another science ship first thing we always do and let's see crown princess florence where is she florence uh you forgot your last name florence i will fix that for you uh, there you go. Florence Seaworthy. A scientist. Oh, okay, that's that's actually perfect. Because we're going to need a scientist in 3, 2, 1 now, so... Let's get them looking for our second habitable planet here. Crown Princess Florence. Um... Oh, actually there is a connection here, so this is not looking too good I guess we'll have our construction ship mine our poor poor system here hopefully our other guaranteed habitable sea world will be pretty good yes we've discovered alien life and a lot of it is looking very promising because it's aquatic and not disgusting land creatures we are abuzz with alien life news. Yes. 
Let the news be spread that it is complete. indeed aquatic. Um, I guess we'll spend the rest of our materials on something here. And not building up the rest of our very poor system here. Anomaly found. First tradition tree. Yes, this will be interesting. Um, what shall we do? We are an intelligent species, so we might go for discovery for the tech. Actually, I think we will do that. Especially Council considering agenda our available. crown princess. Yeah, princess. Is Florence Seaworthy, and they are a scientist. Our species, by the way, is aquatic, intelligent, traditional, but also wasteful and non-adaptive, which I think makes a lot of sense. And then these are the traits for the servile species. They're strong, rapid breeders, but they are not very smart, and they don't live for too, too long. I also think these guys kind of look similar in certain ways. I feel like they could have evolved on different parts of the same planet, but maybe that's just me. I don't know. Let's get our construction ship here. I don't think we can build... Oh, we can build a colony ship. Let's just build that right away. Colonize our second world as soon Star as humanly system possible. Charted. Let's see if our princess Florence will find Star our second... Okay, charted. we have found the second world, and it is... 17 tiles. Wow, that's... That's not great. Terraforming candidate. Is this at least? No, oh, 13 tiles. Wow. We are going to be having some small worlds. So it seems that we will be having the Cybrex, which is always good. Situation look updated. Scoffed at. So, quick update on our empire here. We have nearly colonized our second secured. world. Sphere of influence expanded. Yeah, our second world, second C. And this is going to be a perfect world to build up farming. Let's see our population. Oh, that's not what I meant. Let's play for a little bit. Star system charted. Okay, so we are growing kin there. We could use a little bit more kin, to be honest. Uh. Let me fix the economy here. This kin, the kin like being clerks instead of pearl divers, even though it causes unemployment. It's a good thing a kin is growing here because we need, we don't need any more of these ski workers. We don't have a single kin worker anymore. Oh, uh, when I did that, I did, okay, that was unintentional. There we go, economy fixed once again. But yes, we have our second sea colony set up and we have our third colony the third wave in motion. That's what the planet is going to be called, the third wave. And uh, yeah, we found another world. You, you'll never believe what size it is. Size 13. Amazing. But uh, yeah, that's about it for now. We haven't found any aliens, aquatic or uh, non-aquatic. Disgusts me even saying it, but no intelligent, non-aquatic aliens yet. And of course, we can't even go on this world until we terraform it because uh, not only are we non-adaptive, but we are also aquatic. So I don't even want to know what the habitability, it would be zero. I, I do want to know. It would be absolutely zero. Zero habitability. We're surveying there next, so we'll, we'll see that. But in progress. Absolutely zero. Technology secured. Yeah, our, we get a bunch of anomalies from this person, Princess Florence. Yeah, she, she's an expert in anomalies. Of course, when she gets elected to the throne, this perk is going to be absolutely useless. But for now, she is gathering a good amount of stuff. And that was a precursor one, so even better there. Slave processing, we don't really need that yet. Pop growth speed's good. Yeah, the third wave. It's another uh, agriculture world. Can't have every world being agriculture, but um, trader. Do we have a lot of trade value? We have a decent amount. We don't need any more consumer goods. We have pearl divers for that. Yeah, I suppose we will do trader. Let's see. Oh, Hubert. 
I chose I for talent for him, and I think I'll do that again. Yeah, in fact, I will do that again. And then our Minister of Defense is a trickster. Okay. Let's also make them a champion of the people. So our, our selective kinship civic is already working a little bit. Yeah, 3% champion of the people, but now also hard alien, which is 2%, which... Okay, so it's two point. It's really 2.5%, apparently. But I guess it doesn't round up, unfortunately for us. Florence has found another anomaly. Technology secured. Uh, have we surveyed the planet yet? No. Basic combat rolls is good. Oh, another planet. <laughs> oh. Construction complete. Oh my. Oh my lord. Planet size of 12. That's... You gotta be anomaly kidding. Found. Another anomaly from Florence. She just can't get enough anomalies. This is this is starting to be a really powerful uh, trait here. Found. Wow, look at this. Another precursor. And we don't even research them, so she has all the time in the world to keep finding more and more anomalies. I almost want her to exclusively explore around here because... Oh. Wait. We'll be able to be terraformed if we choose the hydrocentric ascension perk and the climate restoration technology. Sufficiently that could be turned into a pleasant ocean world if rendered significantly warmer. Terraforming would be possible. I, I did not know this was a thing. I guess I don't go hydrocentric too often, which is the goal of these playthroughs, doing something new. Oh wow, 21 top finally! This might be our second best world, but uh, it's, it's a long time coming. We're gonna need hydrocentric and climate restoration, so that's gonna be a long time away, but finally, oh, more unemployment. Why? Why are you being a clerk? These guys wanna be clerks so bad. Every single kin on this planet, it, it grows up and goes to school. And they all studied to be clerks. Well, no, you're not being a clerk. You're being a pearl diver. And we're growing another one of these guys. Um, I guess yeah, no one wants to be a pearl diver. Is that like a weird quirk of the game? Is that no one wants to be a pearl diver? I did not know that. That is so strange. I mean, it's an unconventional career, sure. Star system charted. It comes with our little civic here, aquatic, but yeah, I don't get that. Star system right. charted. And zero percent habitability, of course. Another food planet. We don't need any more food planets. Look at this. One mining district. You know, we're gonna need more than just food. Game. We're gonna need more than size two planets. Wow, where where are we gonna get resources in this game? This is this is getting quite ridiculous. Okay, I guess I'll have to turn this into an energy planet, which it's obviously no good for. And this might have to be a mineral planet as well as a food planet. Fourteen, fourteen side. I don't even know if we can fill that up. Sphere of well, influence expanded. We'll figure it out. I guess our I guess our home world is gonna have to be our main source of everything for now anyway okay we have found our first alien in Weimer white whiter whatever it's called I don't see their ship though are we just getting signals Alice Fleming sure Kind of a gross name, Fleming. Sorry if any anyway, Flemings are in the comment section. News of alien ships. Yeah, where though? All right, you know what? I'm just going to send you to do that first, because I assume they maybe jumped out, possibly. Ruined interstellar assembly. Oh. Oh, and they're aquatic. 
But they already have our interstellar assembly, which is not good. They're aquatic. Is that what the aquatic construction ship looks like? No. Is that... Oh, that's, that's the science ship. It's just a weird color and a weird angle. Or is it? What is this? Well, I guess we'll... No, is that... Is that the aquatic? I guess it is. No? I don't know. We're about to figure it out. And there's a world there. A 20 tile world. We could use that. But that is definitely an aquatic space station. So we have found aquatics. Which is good. Because we actually do need aquatics for our civic to be any good. Because let's say, theoretically, we didn't find any aquatics in this galaxy. Uh, yeah, we'd be missing out on 7.5% happiness because citizen happiness with planet of the same species class, which, of course, we're going to find aquatics. I mean, I have primitives on and I have uh, Star Empire system starting charted. at eight, 18, I think. So, yeah, you can't really... Can't really lose when it comes to 18 18 empires and that's just a start like any empire that starts from events or anything else it's going to uh let's, let's clear the sprawling slums i know that creates a pop but hopefully it's a useful one but yeah 18 18 empires to start when more empires are going to pop up through galactic politics or Technology events or whatever secured. so we would we would find uh Aquatics eventually we would we would pretty much have to uh, I don't think we're gonna go robots this playthrough. I I'm not sure what we're gonna go down when it comes to Probably we're probably gonna do genetic ascension That's what we're gonna do uh, Head of research is a star genius. system charted love to see it star system charted Guess the head Locker of research cleared. can go research these guys. No, that ship is moving. That is an aquatic construction ship. Oh, this was a mining station. Oh. Oh, I am silly. Okay. Or a research station. Double silly. This is a mining station. Yeah, this is a research station. Anomaly yep, research found. station. Wow, I was... I was... I was... Silly. Princess Florence is finding more and more anomalies by the day. Technology She's great secured. at that. I'll let uh, Princess Florence survey our own territory just in case we get helpful anomalies. We don't really want them in our enemy territory. We don't need more food per month, but I suppose we could sell it. Or we could do edicts. I do want research subsidies but we can't really afford it we would actually go negative if I even picked it so actually yeah we will do that we don't need any more food trust me we, we, we we've got food for days okay so it seems sending our non-royal scientists which they were a very good scientist actually <laughs> they were quite the genius and they're dead now, but they are dead because these guys kidnapped them and killed them. And I assume probably, you know, tore them apart, which is not very good. In fact, we are just at war with them now, which is great. Mistaken translations. Huh. Well, it seems that they have decided to contact us first. I'm guessing... Our uh, dissected scientist and their interrogated crew probably helped with that. Um, how do I interact with these guys? We consider your species a grave menace to our kind, kin. Unless you can demonstrate that you are no threat to us, our past attacks will just be the start of hostilities. Well, um, yeah, we definitely can't let that slide. Uh, unfortunately, even though they are wonderful alien 
aquatics like us. Yeah, they, they just don't... We'll send an embassy. Open borders. Maybe they'll learn to like us. Maybe they won't. I don't really know. Either way, we need to spy a uh, network on them, for sure. But taking over them in war is not even really just a bad move at the end of the day because we can just have them as our pops which will give us a huge happiness boost and is the whole point of our civic here so either way we will have these pops on our worlds and well we're gonna treat them as equals because they are aquatic like us aggressive but aquatic no okay well uh, technology secured might have to do this the hard way we have found another menace the wall menace we have our wonderful envoy Isabella looking into it but these guys this is a humanoid ship if I've ever seen one so not aquatics also uh, side note, we are completely surrounded, it seems, and we only have three very small planets. Each, I think, with their own governor at this point now. Let's let them all tick over. Yeah, we are we are going into uh, our leaders here. We're going to have a governor for each planet. I have three priorities. Planning, production, and prosperity, which is good. Good for you. We have our wonderful Florence, our princess, leading research, and... Our council is going to be expanded soon, but we are going to go into leaders this playthrough, I think, because we are going to need them. Looks like we're going to be forced to play so tall, at least tall or very warlike, both of which we're going to need leaders. So I've chosen aptitude for our tradition, but yeah, we are, we are boxed in, it seems. I mean, maybe we could snake to these systems before. Uh, we kind of need that system. Uh, actually, actually, I could build another construction ship. Or even two, to be honest. Maybe get our military up. We're just going to need a lot of help here getting out of our situation. We just don't have the greatest start. But these guys are just surveying this place. There's, well... well actually, they're currently doing nothing. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they're just stunned to see us, but uh, construction yeah. complete. You can be set to automatic construction, and these guys can start expanding our borders. Otherwise, we are going to be boxed in. Also, even with our aquatic start, we are low on consumer goods. That's because no one wants to make them. Uh, no one wants to be a pearl diver. Well, at least they're not clerks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why no one wants to be a pearl diver. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, look at this. No one wants to be a pearl diver. Why do, why do pops hate pearl diver? Like, I don't understand. Like, wouldn't you rather be a pearl diver than an odd factory worker? I mean, I'm happy you are a odd factory worker. That's, that's really helping our economy. But still, like, please, I don't know. Yeah, this is just a straight upgrade to artisan, but they don't pick it. Yeah, pick. Yeah, dude, come on now. You 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 you're being silly here. We are expanding the council and finally going to have a minister of seas here. Damn, those bonuses are even better than the minister of seas, but uh. Yeah, assuming anyone actually wants to work the Pearl Diver job, we will have more consumer goods, which we need. Oh, we need a new agenda, of course. Mm. Trade value, but possibility. Oh, leadership conditioning. Yeah, I definitely want that. That is one powerful, powerful little size 12. Of course it's size 12. Powerful little uh, council thing, but... Our spy network has bore fruit. We now know that their fleet is superior. 
but everything else is equivalent. And there is something else that is very superior too. Their home world. Pretty sure size 30 home world. Actually, I'm 100% sure that this is a ocean uh, paradise origin and they have a size 30 ocean world. So we will definitely want to be taking that. We can't just yet, but I mean that would fix so many of our problems. Yeah, so many of our problems. A, a size 30 ocean world with uh, a bunch of aquatics already on it. That would be perfect for our empire, but of course the military is not too strong because well, our alloy production is not too strong. We mainly rely on food districts to provide our consumer goods so we don't really need industrial districts too much. We only have two in our whole empire. Um, luckily though, luckily we do have an odd factory and it didn't kill one of my pops this time. Spoiler alert, uh, that uh, kills pops sometimes, but yes, we are also snaking our way to this system. Last I checked, there was no construction ships and the science ship was still sitting there dead in the water for some reason. I haven't found where the empire actually is. Let's see Isabella's progress here. Um, yeah, they've just begun. It's difficult. Hmm. Our construction ship is not doing much here. Oh, well, let's fix that. But yeah, oh. Construction complete. Never mind. This is definitely humanoid and they are right here, so they are only one system away. I don't know if we can beat them at this point. I mean, okay, no, well, hold on. Beating them wouldn't even matter because they still cut us off no matter what. Having 14 minerals will be nice though. Wait, why is that yellow? Oh, it's just yellow. Or have they conquered this system? They could, they could have started right here, and this is like their start here. Or they could have started here and snaked up to there. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm the one snaking. They're they're probably not. I, I don't know mm -hmm. yet, but again, not good. Not good. Technology secure. They're superior to us, so Construction trouble not good. Complete. Gene clinics. That's going to be very helpful. Uh, Xenolinguistics. Not very important. Uh, what do we need here? Pop growth speed or ship reduction? I think ship reduction is better just for the moment because we're gonna need we're gonna need ships. Uh, what was I doing before that? Uh, oh yes, gene clinics. Okay, I knew it had something to do with. It. Yeah, we will we will set up gene clinics. They will they will help with our amenities, which we are currently yeah, we are currently bottom down on amenities. Technology secured. Construction complete. I'll build a city district so we can have gene. I mean, they're not the most powerful things ever, but they are nice to have. Uh oh, oh, that's just their science ships. Yeah, still sitting there. AFK. So yeah, we will be able to claim this system and this system, which is nice. Do unifier. Um, this is Hubert. Hmm. We can do skirmisher just in case we need an early war. And then, wow, plus 32 minerals. That's, that's very good. But then again, we don't really, we're not, we're not we're not low on minerals, so I think I think we'll just do with the happiness. Oh, we don't we don't really need that city district if we're doing planetary administration because that's gonna yeah, that's gonna increase our building slots. All right, well I'll get that Star all sorted out. We are going to be getting this station. What just jumped here? That's another science ship. I don't know why. Why are they using this bad boy, but not this? 
Very strange. Oh! Haha. -ha. Construction oh, complete. These guys. Oh, they closed their borders to us. You are speaking to the bipartisan Republic of Zion. Construction Speaker, Yel complete. Yel Taljun is our elected representative. You might recognize that person. Uh, your kind will not threaten the Lord of the Tides. Certainly not. So yeah, I forced these guys to spawn in. I thought it would be a fun, fun thing to do. A fun Easter egg, you might want to call it. Wait, did I just, did I just open borders to them? Wait. Eh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah. I, I spawned them in. I thought it would be fun. There's Zol. It's a trinary system this time. Okay, so they did spawn in here, like I said, but they haven't... They haven't done that. Um, this is a guy... They spawn on a Gaia world, right? Secured. So, we'll have another good Gaia world here. Actually, yeah, we'll have two... Two worlds that are nearly perfect. Actually, that are perfect, really. Um, wait, housing usage, habitability on non-wet worlds, does that include Gaia worlds? I don't know, I guess we'll see, but either way, it looks like we're going to have to work for our worlds that are above size 14 and 13 and 12, we're going to have to work for them, so that'll be interesting. Hopefully we can get our shit together when it comes to vessels sleep power. upgraded so we can eventually do that let's see are they still construction oh, they're a complete. Complete now we should be able to uh do some things i guess we will send isabella to spy on these guys because uh well both these guys have their borders closed to me so it doesn't look like i'm going to be finding any new people to investigate with envoys anytime soon so it looks like our not so friendly aquatic neighbors are planning to go to war with us, with a superior fleet, which is worrying. I am making preparations with upgrading our star station there and making a new shipyard and making a whole bunch of ships, but it's not looking super good for us. Even if we do get the star station, we can't technically stop them with it. Hopefully... Well, it looks like, uh, enemy of my enemy, maybe? No. Every, everyone in this little part of the galaxy hates each other. Are they, are they xenophobes? No, they're just... I don't know. Religious military fanatics? Yeah, we don't have anything in common, so... Oh, okay. That's nice. We did capture this academic, Construction by the way. Complete. Just randomly. We must have... Saw the potential of our kinship, but yeah. Oh, here, the, here their fleets are. Wow, yeah, we, we simply cannot contend with that. Not yet, anyway. Um, 200 days. Yeah, it's not looking like we're gonna have enough time here. Uh. Sure. Yeah, not looking too, too good. We are doubling our ship production here. Uh, have we, have we really? All right. Looks like we might just be able Construction to Construction complete. Get this built. They haven't declared war on us just yet. Technology secured. If we build up our military to the point where it eclipses theirs, they might not declare war on us at all. Yeah. Which might be wishful thinking, but I've seen it happen before. What is our ship design? I, I haven't... Unfortunately, I have not... Uh, wow, it is absolutely terrible. That's what it is. Uh, minus one power. 
Just do a level one shield. Oh no, I could I can do a reactor booster. Could we get two shields? No. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is not good. Let's let's cancel all of the Corvettes and build the new fancy type. Even though they're more expensive, it's should be fine. I guess the second fleet can stay there to be upgraded. Let's see our relative power. Well, relative power is equivalent again, so they may. Construction. No, complete. they're no longer going to declare war on us. That's unfortunate because we just spent a good portion of our money on preparing for that. Let's do an anchorage because we're we're definitely going to go over. Are they going back now? Well, we might uh, just do a counter strike against them. We might as well send these guys back to upgrade. But with us now have going all in in terms of alloys and minerals and everything else, we might just do a counter strike, even if it's just to thin the herd of our fleets here. Uh, I think I might hire another admiral. Our bonuses will far outweigh the negatives that getting a new Technology Admiral secured. over the leader cap will bring us. And I would like to get some XP out of this war. No Xeno will stand in our way. You got damn right. Uh, yeah, more energy. Well, yeah, fine. More energy is good. Looks like they're backing out last second. Vessels upgraded. If they leave the station, we will attack it, I think. Complete. Um, because, well, two reasons. One, we need access to this portion of the galaxy here, because they have just cut us off completely. And two, oh, hold on. We're very rich. We can even afford more allies, maybe. Alloys. Did I say allies? I think I did. Well, either way. It looks like both of our neighbors want a piece of me. Their fleet is significantly less than ours, fortunately for us, but uh, still threatening. If they both went to war, it'd be a war with me at the same time, we'd have a big issue. Consequently, if I went to war with one of them, uh, the other one would probably declare war on me in return, so it looks like our war here is going to have to be delayed. A little bit at the very least. I could build up a fortress station here but it's not really necessary. I think we will I think we will build a actually this can be a trade station here and then this can be a well no this trade is already being collected somehow. Hmm are we actually missing any trade? Yeah, we're missing a little bit of trade. So we need a trade station and a uh, anchorage here, but either way, yeah, it looks like we are in a stalemate with our neighbors here. Both chomping at the bit to attack me. Secured. Don't you know what I did? Our, uh, our princess here, Florence, is finally getting around to researching all of her nice little anomalies. I'll give her a precursor one as a treat. But yeah, she is shaping up to be a really good researcher, head of research. Almost to the point where I don't even want her to uh, ascend to the throne just yet. I hope Hubert lives a long, healthy life as king. Uh, I guess we'll go with crystal mines. I don't really need crystals for much this playthrough though. But we don't really need anything else there. Uh, a bomb? Or keep an eye on it. I guess we'll keep an eye on it. I've done both things in the past, and they both can lead to either good or bad options, so... What what planet is it on, first and foremost? This one? What? It's not on the star, is it? Is it on the star? 
Whatever, we'll we'll come back to that. We'll keep an eye on it. But yeah, our neighbors construction complete. Are simply chomping at the bit to attack us. I guess I could make a third fleet. I would really like a technology that increases our fleet uh fleet limit, whatever it's called. Fleet size. But I will just make a third fleet just uh for now. I would also like destroyers cuz we are spending a lot of alloys on ships that are going to be outclassed very soon. We kind of have to. Wait. The Zionites have a second world? Oh, they're at war? Wait, they're at war and... Oh, they must have just got war declared on them because they just pulled back from their station here. This might be a good time to strike. But then our fleets would be so far away from our home world that... Actually... Thinking about it, it might be a good time to strike these guys because the Zionites are very distracted complete. with whoever they're fighting. It looks like they have found a lot more empires than I have. Which makes sense because I'm blocked in, but we will see. I think we might attack these guys. Look who came crawling back. These guys are getting destroyed in their war, I assume, and they are very happy with us now they're opening our bo opening their borders and everything well we no longer have to worry about these guys as a threat and uh, these guys either it seems like their one planet challenge over here seems to not be keeping up with our military so I'm thinking that we definitely want to claim that system at the very least I wish we had more info on them. Is our info going up anymore? No, it's not. You know what? I might, I might genuinely do this operation. Does this guy make it any easier? No. He's not really helping. I think I will gather intel and... Or maybe not. I have the influence. Yeah, oh, I'm almost maxed on influence and plus seven a month. So actually, yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to claim them during the war. It's going to be expensive as all hell, but... You know, I'm not sure whether I want to claim their home system yet. Hmm. I don't want to eliminate them from the game, because it would. They only have one planet. That is confirmed. Uh. I could potentially vassalize them and then integrate them. I don't... I don't know if that... Uh, well, I don't know. Hmm. Because if I just demolish their empire, then everything that I don't claim is just going to go back to empty space. And then it's going to be harder to get in the future. We're going to have to resurvey it all. Although I guess that would be... You know what? I am going to do that. I, I think I am going to destroy their empire this time. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll make more claims to claim important systems during... The hostile hostili uh, hostilities. Actually, I'm I, you know what? I'm gonna do it right now. In fact, because we no longer have our back door to be worrying about, because these guys are getting thoroughly smashed in their war, and they love us now because, well, they don't have much choice. Uh, unemployed. Why? <laughs> Why does this happen? I don't. I don't get it. Oh, it's it's not even. Yeah, we are we're about to run out of consumer goods, and they still won't work the pearl worker jobs. I guess I'm gonna have to lock that. And uh, where can you go work? Is there work here for you there? All right, sure. We'll also do one more. The third wave. Yeah, this is our generator world. Very nice generator world with four generator districts max. <laughs> well, it's whatever. All right, our fleet is here. I guess we'll bomb Heaven Sky into the ground because, well, whatever the world is, whatever the world. Hearth Sea. Yeah, we'll, we'll bomb Hearth Sea into the ground until they give up because we have declared war to safeguard yeah. our interests. I'm not going to uh, build an army just to invade Special one planet. Special project complete. I should build uh, at least one army just to make sure that. We do Construction complete. 
Okay, they're they're leaving, allowing us to take their station even easier. Which is possibly a tactical Attacking error. enemy assets. Possibly not, if they have a even stronger station somewhere else. Is all of our ships see ya? Okay. Yeah, we're seeing more of their empire now. We can actually claim this for an exorbitant price, but yeah, let's see what they said. End of my nation. Yeah, well, we, we will see. Transport ships. I don't know why they are doing this. It's very silly. Um, okay, we might as well capture these two stations before. Oh, never mind. Special project complete. A whiff of something. Our princess has uh, been doing some questionable activities. Attacking enemy vessels. Yeah, they didn't. They gave up immediately. They only lost three ships, though. Could have gone worse for them. All right, let's heal. And then with their fleet gone, I think we can safely just send all of our fleets to go take those stations. Actually, you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm actually claim attacking it. enemy assets. Only 146. Oh, we have a uh, crystal right there. Yeah, that guy's going to go get him. Space bomb rifle encountered. We have encountered a new man. Oh. Uh. Yeah, don't. Uh, where are you? Okay, you're apparently not. Right, don't don't engage. Okay, good. That was a little worrying. Yeah, uh, fleets can now enter unknown systems, which is interesting. That's a new thing. Oh, the Plague Baron Emperor Empire. Okay, Toxoids. Uh, you're kind. Attacking of enemy lovers. assets. We have no interest in. Uh, and setting up spy networks on them. Enemy so we'll just presence the... exposed. Okay, 2,100. Looks like their fleet is back, and they chose not to even heal. But they are not going to attack us. They are going here, which is interesting. <laughs> Put them close to the to us. That's fine. We're not on the galactic stage to make any friends. Unless they are aquatics, of course, which those two were not. Filthy non-aquatics. And these filthy aquatics are going to be under our wings soon. Attacking As enemy eagles, assets. Oh, they are. Uh, they are being besieged. No. What? How? Well, they're not at war. Oh, they are. Oh, I'm um, being silly. Um, do we? No, I think. I think the best course of action is just to make sure that we win this system before the enemy does. Because if they've claimed the system, then all Attacking is lost. Enemy assets. How's the station? Oh, the station is not too tough. Attacking enemy vessels. Uh, allow their surrender. That is the kind of the whole point. Uh, we will not be saving any. Any aliens from bombardment here? Construction will do what complete. is militarily best. Uh, all of our governors seem to be arrested. Development. It's unfortunate. Construction complete. Oh no. Spaceport under oh, attack. But just in case they don't surrender, we will bring in one army to land once Vessel all these production armies are capacity dead. violently diminished. Uh, I, sometimes they don't surrender, even if all their armies are gone. So that is why I brought the one army. Uh, Florence, our princess, is not doing anything. Well, do this. How many anomalies are? Just one. Well, it'll take you a while anyway. Spaceport under attack. Okay. Almost done. Construction complete. Alright. They might be retaking their station. No? Yeah, see, here's the enemy Technology here. Technology secured. Oh, they're taking our station. Uh, that's not... That's not any good. Leader lifespan. Yeah, we'll do that. We kind of want everyone to stay in their position. 
We don't want Herbert to die and the princess to take over because she is a damn good scientist. Damn good scientist. Also, we don't have another scientist, so. Construction complete. Okay, we can just uh, land these now. Planetary invasion commenced. And that about does it. So yeah, unfortunately, we have erased their whole civilization here. And unfortunately, it is just out of range of our capital sector, this, this system, which is unfortunate. But we do have governors. Um, I guess we'll do this guy. I mean, he's not doing really anything too special. Let's see how this world is. Only one ruined district. Lots of unrest. Lots of uh, districts. Yeah, this uh, this is not going to be an industrial world. I don't think this is going to be the mineral extraction HQ for our empire. They seem to make it a research lab haven, which I don't know how this empire was sustainable. I guess they got all of their everything from space like all their energy and minerals but where did they get their food so we have the terraforming technology which means two major things can happen one of course we can terraform these terrible worlds into well, terrible ocean worlds and yeah that's that's world's not even worth terraforming arguably uh let's make sure we get some money should probably buy some. No one wants to be an ang fucking pearl diver still, so. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. We can start terraforming these worlds and, uh, using them. But a cool second thing has happened. We can now get the hydrocentric ascension perk. No longer shall we settle for good enough replacements for our oceanic abodes. No planet shall be deemed fit for colonization until it has been thoroughly inundated. Of course, we came from the ocean, our species evolving to be ideally suited to living in the depths of the seas. Even as we take to the stars, we have not abandoned our roots. The water, the water is and shall always be our home. Now, our evolution is complete. No longer shall we adapt ourselves to living elsewhere. Rather, we will be shaping worlds to suit our needs. And as we greet the warmth of a new day, we know nothing need part us from the ocean ever again. It shall be a home like no other, of course. So, long story short, we are not leaving the oceans. We are sticking to our guns when it comes to our selective kinship and our ocean supremacy, of course. So, we'll be terraforming uh, all these worlds. We, are, we have our new conquered world, for the most part, figured out, at least when it comes to amenities and housing and jobs. Uh, we will slowly convert this world into a rural world where most of our resources in our empire, frankly, will be coming from. We have created a new sector for it because, again, so unlucky, but yes, and uh, hey, now that these guys are inferior instead of pathetic, they have, re they have revived their rivalry with us. So <laughs> these guys hate us depending on how strong they are, which honestly pretty realistic I can't I can't blame them for that well it seems like the Zoll system has the kaleidoscope light once again in my favorite little event color out of space I say once again and you understand why I say once again if you've watched the last video but uh, yeah spoiler for that Z oh it is their war over oh their war is over okay uh, speaking of Zion and their beautiful kaleidoscope, I yes, plan to go to war with these guys and vassalize them while also taking these two claims. I might also take this if, uh, if it's up for the taking. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but... Uh, yeah, Situation let's... log updated. Uh, yeah, let's... We're, we're going to send our military there now, actually. So it's a good thing that event happened, so I saw this war was over. I didn't uh, I didn't know if it was. But yeah, we will be vassalizing these guys and taking this world. I think it's just 
for the best to clean up our borders over here. Uh, actually, yeah, whenever I see this system, I'm also going to claim that. So that not only are these guys surrounded by me, but um, we have a fortifiable choke point. Because otherwise we'd have this and this, or I guess this and this for our choke point. But if we expand down to here, yeah, we're going to clean up our choke points over here. Um, we are expanding over here. We were expanding, but now we have two scientists, by the way. Our princess is an amazing scientist, plus 20% engineering research, but regardless, yeah, we are going to go to war. Uh, we'll leave one fleet there behind for defense and send Are the other two. On? Yeah, they should be able to take care of it to take over these guys. Um, agriculture for um, unity from blockers generator focus what world are you on uh, all of these would be really good if you were on a different world hmm, can I swap worlds with someone potentially yeah potentially you could go to this world and then someone else can go to this world who Second C. Yeah, you don't need to be on second C. Actually, you should be on second C. Okay, I I take it back. This guy, this guy is actually going to be governor here, and then on Hearth C, we'll have this guy. Wait, yeah, we'll have this guy govern and increase the energy credits here mm. and the trade value, which is already pretty high. Yeah, this this is working out. We had trade value so high, in fact, that we had pirates, but we, we killed them. It wasn't very interesting, so I didn't record it, but, you know. What is interesting is that we are finding people in the Deneb system. Toxoids, it looks like. Uh, well, we... We kind of need spy war networks in those two kingdoms. Actually, we, we really don't need a spy network, network in this kingdom anymore, because... Oh, they're about to be our vassal, whether they like it or not. Uh, I think I think we're going to go the route of tributary with them so that we can get some monetary gain out of it, but... Construction complete. Either way, it'll, it'll work out. Construction complete. I would like to know who's over here and how they got here, because... This is uh, very cut off, so I don't know what that ship secure. was. It might be a uh, Tainiki or some other kind of inert alien. This is not an inert alien though, for sure. Continental World 20. We probably should have... Uh... Oh, we are surveying it. Okay. Alright, our first world, uh, our first round of terraforming is done. Uh, let's see. What... What should this world have? An excess in generator districts or mining districts? Well, I guess generator. Uh, planetary gambit. Oh, we could uh, we could have this planet be tidally locked. That is a cool one. Minus agriculture districts, but plus. It adds uh, it adds energy districts, right? I don't know if it's really worth it. I'm thinking I, I'm thinking we want to turn this into an industrial world because it has a lot of dust or er, you know, planet size for a lot of districts, and it's not too resource rich except when it comes to food, which we don't need. So we could turn this into a very powerful, maybe even eventually an ecumenopolis. But I was thinking industrial world for this one. So I don't think I'm going to tidily lock it. If it had more generator districts, I would 100% do it, but it doesn't. So we're going to set this planet spinning again. And, uh... We are going to colonize all those planets. In fact, let's... Well, I'll, I'll colonize them, and then I'll... Then I'll start the war. But, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll see you then.
All right, so our terraformed planets all have planned colonies, with this one being named after our princess, eventually going to be an industrial world, maybe an Econopolis, I don't know. But uh, either way, our fleets are right on the border of our wonderful friends here, the Zionites, our old friends. We are going to, yeah, we, we have those two systems claimed, and we are going to make them a tributary. Actually, can we... Is there borders open to us now? We can't... I wish we could see this system, but... <coughs> excuse me. We cannot, so... It's... We have it's declared time. war to safeguard our interests. This will be the end of your pitiful nation. We we will see about that. So they will probably go Attacking around... Attacking enemy assets. I assume. And uh, annoy us from the back. But, of course... They cannot win this war. They just simply can't. Yep, they are going around. Attacking enemy assets. Like I predicted. We will blitz down their empire. Uh, before. Okay. Yeah, all of our claims are now in place. Properly in place. We could take this system as well. But I don't think we want to. How's this world look? 15 size desert world. With a Zionite with a 5% habitability. Honestly, taking that world from them from them would be a mercy, considering it's just a drain. But I won't. Maybe they'll fix it eventually. Spaceport under attack. Um, I'm tempted to split my fleet. Zero G research them, platform disrupted. Uh, it's not. Star it's not system okay. charted. Okay, well. Oh, in the neb there is a attacking enemy assets. Age civilization, huh? Are they aquatic? No, they are not aquatic. What are they good for then? Am I right? Am I right or am I right? I feel like we can just bomb this planet. Yeah, we'll, we'll immediately surrender. Star system charted. All right. And the kaleidoscope is beautiful. <laughs> it really is. Technology secured. This is such a cool event. I love Space it. Spaceborne life form encountered. Let's let's slow down the battle and see this glorious, or slow down the game and see this glorious battle. Uh, which ship shall we look at in depthly? Sure, that one. Let's see. Man, this system is. <laughs> Very cool. Attacking enemy vessels. Don't know what those vessels are. I think they might be transport ships. But here we go. There is uh, Zion. Their very, very large and in charge Gaia world. And our artillery cannons are firing at the station. Technology secured. Enemy presence They're exposed. shooting at this ship, specifically. Which is funny, because this is the one I chose. Yeah, I sometimes like to uh, just look at the battles from my ship's perspective. It's usually pretty cool. There's one sun, two suns, and then three suns for our trinary system. I think we're just uh, attacking their... Yeah, we're just attacking their armies now. Spaceport under attack. They have retreated. So yeah, that was cool. Sometimes we forget Solaris is a beautiful game. We will rival those guys. Yeah, downside of doing that is uh, <laughs> we miss everything. Um, guess we'll do that. Hmm. I think we'll. We'll do this just in case we need it. And then extra minerals. Well, we don't really need extra minerals. We could use big forges. How many armies? Oh, not too many armies. Vessel so they, production they will surrender capacity pretty quickly. Diminished. These fleets will, will take systems, but Star system it charted. won't be enough. And they won't reach anything important. Yeah, we're, we're Zero G research platform so you're about disrupted. to be my vassal, so I'm not even 
colonization in progress. Reclaiming systems, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Chief. Attacking enemy vessels. What's Star the system though? charted. Truly is wonderful. Colonization in progress. Worlds are being colonized. Spaceport under are they attack. Back? Yeah, they seem to have pulled back a little bit. I think they are going to try to retake their world. Which is slightly more annoying than... Actually, I'll, I will stop them from doing that. Uh, we can beat their fleets, right? Yeah, just with one. Spaceport under attack. Hmm... We'll do that for now. Council agenda ready. Attacking enemy vessels. Okay. Oops. Uh Attack Council agenda huh. ready. Oh that's That's not good. I put a, a puts a damper in our plans. Uh, yeah, that just that puts a damper in our plans. Oh, that is my bad. I guess I will send the other plate in. Technology <laughs> secure. I underestimated Star our enemy charted. here, which is Technology a little foolish. Secured. Their fleet designs might be simply be better than ours as well. All right, let's return to Zion and return to bombing it. Oh, their Space armies have already regenerated. Attack. Yeah, that is not uh, that is not good. And we have a bunch of things we need to be doing. Of course, we need to expand the council. Uh, shields would be nice. Yeah, it seemed like we were winning that fight until we were not. We're gonna groom that guy to be our scientist. Yeah, we. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I don't really know what happened there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate business that. Zero G research oh, platform long? disrupted. Five hundred days. Yeah, this is not uh, not great. We just got a free officer. I guess we'll take that. They're retaking the system. See, the problem Star with them retaking system their charted. systems now, yeah, is that these guys are going to grab systems from them. But if we capture Zion, we can make them surrender before the enemy makes them Attacking surrender. Attacking so. enemy vessels. Okay. Spaceport under attack. We can actually use one of our scientists to come, come back and figure that out. We have no orders currently, huh? All right. Well, we'll. We gotta be very careful with the princess here. Make sure she doesn't get killed in a war. That would just attacking be enemy vessels. So silly. Uh, way more silly than losing a battle, which we did. Vessel which production we did capacity very silly. diminished. Man, these guys are are distracting me, so I can't bomb their capital, which is working out for them a little bit too well. Are these guys attacking them too? Let's drive on. Damn, they are just fighting on all fronts. Unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, are these? Oh, these guys are attacking them together. Spaceport under attack. Huh, I need to. Oh man. Okay, thank you. Those guys actually helped me out. Get them out there. So. Anomaly found. Yeah, we just need to make sure Zion capitulates. Where are our guys here? Okay, we need you to claim these two systems and make sure. The Galactic Plague Baron do not claim them, because that would be very bad. Because if they claim them, and then when the war and take those systems, we've got to go to war with them. Yeah, it would just be unfortunate. When are these guys returning? 2055. So a few months. Looks like these guys are taking care of uh, business for me. What should we spend? I guess we have an overabundance of influence, so we'll spend that. Attacking enemy assets. If these guys have an army that comes in and, and sneaks up and takes this planet, that would be... That would be Omega Unfortunate. 
But it doesn't look like the... Bro. <sighs> and they have a defense pact. Do I know how strong these guys are? Inferior. Man. Man, that is not, that is, that is cringe border gore if I've ever seen it. And they're, they're leaving. Wow, that's not good. Well, I mean, why would they even take that peace deal if they didn't hold the systems? That's, that's messed up. Uh, we'll hack them, sure, whatever, I don't care about them. Just do what you need to do. Man, that is unfortunate. Space boot under attack. But at least they didn't take a planet or anything ridiculous, because then we'd have to take that planet from another empire and then gift it to the Zion uh, people. So star system empire, charted. Let's uh, let's get our fleet. Oh, our fleet is missing because it was in their territory, which is now their territory. Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Spaceboat under attack. This is going so slow. Sphere of influence expanded. Here is Florence, after Princess Florence, named after Princess Florence. Counter. Where is that? Over here, yeah. Vessels upgraded. Oh, so Construction complete. We do eventually want that system because primitives can lead to insight technology. Alright, seems like we're just waiting here for Sphere of Influence expanded. For this to happen. Guess you're seeing some of the micro I do. Alright, I'll catch back with you once uh, this war is won. Nothing really is happening anyway. Their fleets are gone and well, the other war has unfortunately ended. Unfortunately for us, and unfortunately for them. Alright, so their last planet- well, not their last planet, but... The last planet we need to win the war has surrendered. Oh, and... Yeah, we will figure this out here. Actually, we're not gonna figure anything out. We are simply going to... Take these guys, put them in... New Rattenbury, and spend the 200 influence to take everyone off this world so that we can convert it to an ocean world. But yeah, this is uh, our new empire oh, here, yeah. and the sky, the Republic of Zion, our old friends, is a tributary. How much are they giving us? Wow. Uh, practically nothing. Yeah, practically... Well, at the very least, they are under us. I think that makes the authoritarians happy. Let's see our factions here. Wow, our uh, our xenophobe faction is really, really fallen by the wayside. Everyone seems to be exceedingly happy about our ordered society, which is good. Which is good. And then the militarist. I might switch to militarist, actually. High naval capacity usage. Rose up, rose up. Okay. Yeah, okay. We, we might switch to militarist, actually. Not right now mainly because we can't afford it, but I don't think uh, Selective Kinship doesn't need Xenophobic. And neither does Anglers, obviously. Our, our Empire, in general, really doesn't need Xenophobic because we can keep aliens enslaved with Authoritarian. So, if aliens like this First Strike Legion party, then... Or, yeah, if our citizens... Did I say aliens? Yeah, I meant our citizens like this First League party. Technically, the Xenophobes still outnumber them. Because this is also a xenophobe party. 
so it's 19 to 18 but yeah I don't I don't feel like we're probably gonna go religious then again we could start appeasing them empty shells I mean we can ban robotic workers I have no problem with that uh, where is robotic workers yeah well yeah sure we'll ban them you're getting a look at our uh, edicts tab for free a little free sneak peek but yeah things are working out let's uh let's make sure this goes back there's really no reason to there's zero trade value but I don't like seeing the little red arrows there one of our scientists is not doing anything yeah you need to go research projects and systems this is so annoying by the way look 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 at the maneuver we got to do because these stupid guys have their borders closed to us I don't really want to go to war with them because these guys don't even hate us too much and they're also inferior what, do we know yeah we don't know anything about their uh, power compared to us but I feel like we could definitely win a war against the both of them but it would be costly and I'd have to upgrade my ships with all of my alloys and spend money on alloys and all that I'm not sure whether I want to do that or not considering we're in a phase of natural and peaceful expansion right now so the only thing I'd even want to do that for is the choke point and maybe this choke point world here only 14 tiles but hey that's that's <laughs> It's not any different from the rest of our empire with all of our small worlds, but we're getting bigger ones. We found a strange alien lever. Who's the scientist here? Ah, the princess. Let's pull it. Uh, well, I think we just created a wormhole that goes right into our... back of our empire here or no wait Rikus. diffuse the wormhole and immediate up here stable yeah I, I suppose we'll research the machine and give uh, Florence where's this wormhole oh the wormholes here oh created a wormhole here which is not much better hmm Kind of unlucky, to be honest. Kind of puts a big hole in our uh, empire here. Well, it could have been worse. So yeah, we seem to have a good understanding of our surrounding area here. Unexplained. Uh, is this is this connected to this? Hopefully not. Well. I guess that wouldn't be the worst if we actually no, that would be great because we would have a wormhole to a choke point if we were to come over here and take take this and this we would have a wormhole to a choke point so I guess that wouldn't be too bad I don't remember that wormhole being there before so I think it might have created that wormhole me me pulling the lever there but we really don't have to worry about that now because we actually even have a non-aggression pack with these people these these people really do like us. I guess we'll open our borders to them, but yeah. They'd even take a commercial pact and research agreement and everything else if we improved relations, but we are too busy spying on them to improve relations, so. Yeah. Then we have these two empires. We have a Toxoid Militarist Empire, which controls the net, which we do want. I don't know if we're going to take it soon, but they're already hostile to us, so it doesn't really matter. And then we have a mega corporation that doesn't particularly like us, so maybe we won't be trading with them right now. Then we have these guys, which I'm not sure whether they're completely cut off from the rest of the galaxy, sandwiched in between the Plague Barons and their vassal. This is their vassal, by the way. They are vassaled under the Plague Barons, but yeah, we... We're not sure. If if these guys are completely cut off, I would like to either take them over or vassalize them and solidify my control of this, well, these two spiral wings of the galaxy. The, the galaxy is a six-ring six spiral, so 
I would control the the end of these two rings here and have some pretty pretty nasty choke points. I would like my choke point to be Deneb. And then I would also like my choke point over here to be here or here and here depending on where this wormhole leads, but we'll figure that out in due time. It's not super important right now that we grab those choke points and fortify them just yet. So we'll hold off on our wars. We have a lot of planets building up. So we have plenty of peaceful endeavors to get to in the meantime. Yeah, this, this planet might have to start taking off city districts. I've already been replacing some of the uh, more skilled labor jobs and uh, replacing them with less skilled labor jobs. Like I've taken all the industry districts away. I've moved them, you know, most of the people who used to work those skilled labor jobs here to be bureaucrats. A fate worse than death for some, but we'll, we'll have to cope. Our princess really likes the finer things in life. A science ship upkeep plus 15 alloys. Destructor 2. Man, this, this princess sure is, uh, sure is needy. No orders. Oh, and you're not doing anything. Let's get you to do a pretty hard anomaly. One up to your skill level, which is what? Six. It is six. It's pretty damn good for a scientist. When she inherits the throne, she'll be like... Level 8 already. Who? Yeah, she's actually a higher level than the man on the throne right now, so. Yeah. Princess Florence is going to lead us into a golden age. I am sure of it. It seems we have found a temple to an ancient evil of our old religions. Uh, we will, of course, Situation go looking updated. for that. Construction. Complete. Yeah, we have found a lot more of the galaxy here. We might. Um, yeah, sure. We might uh, be forming the galactic Locker community cleared. soon, but. In fact, we established. Okay, good. We are preparing to leave our spy network here. That's why we're doing prepare sleeper Locker cells. Cleared. And these guys also have a defense pact with us now, so. We would even take a research agreement, which, as I'm not really doing much with influence, I guess I will take that. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, we are becoming great friends with our neighbors here, which opens us up to potential wars here. Oh, looks like we see a lot more of our neighbor here. So, yeah, assuming this doesn't connect, or this, or this, I suppose, uh, it looks like these guys are ripe for the taking to make a nice little tributary empire for our empire. Hmm. Ocean world. Oh, they're actually, they're actually ocean pops. Are all these worlds oceans? Yeah. You know what? Relic world. I wonder how our aquatic species would fare on a relic world. Planetary machinery, and they haven't researched it, I guess. You know, we might actually be going to war to take these guys over instead of... Well, let's let's get some more spying done on them, see exactly what they have, and then we'll make an informed decision. I also plan on having our fleet take out these nuisances here so we can clean up our borders. And... Uh, Continue expanding peacefully for now. But my mm -hmm. eye is on this wonderful communal state of Valshu. Mm -hmm. You don't look very aquatic, but in fact you're not aquatic. Even if we took you over, you would you would be slaves. Even though you came from an ocean world, you are the enemy of the ocean on that world. You are a land creature for sure. But we are using our former spy to investigate the Omega Menace because they are, at least I'm 99% sure they are the mining droids, and I want to investigate them before destroying them because in the situation log, uh, the research you get after we investigate the mining droids gives us a bonus, so I'm not going to 
destroy them and then miss out on the bonus if there is no more left. There's 4k here, which we will just just barely be able to defeat with one fleet. I'll probably send all the fleets, why not, but we uh, we have more than enough to defeat these guys as soon as Alice. Alice Fleming. Oh, Alice Fleming is still alive. I remember saying her last name was weird. Yeah, once she's done with that. But, uh, yeah. And I'm also turning our capital into a research world here. I, I always have to manually resettle pops away from the capital because it's just... I mean, 51 pops. It's, I've, I've probably resettled at least 20 or 30 pops away to other planets. But luckily our other planets are shaping up to have a good amount of work available. Unlike our 14, 17, 13 tile original worlds. We have a new mining world, Hackett's Quarry. If you know what that's a reference to, then good for you. But uh, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of mining jobs here for our influx of slaves and we may even get a bigger influx of slaves when we take over these guys depending on whether we conquer them outright or just vassalize them so that will be a lot of slaves we will need a lot of jobs for them and then in return we are going to need a lot of our citizens to go over and take over their specialist jobs that they're leaving behind because they are not aquatic they are mammalian even though they're from an ocean world so just because they're from an ocean world doesn't mean they're an equal. They have to be from the ocean itself. Look at this. What? It, what is this? I don't know. That's weird. Look at, bam, bam. Okay. And then this goes there. You don't see hyperlanes cross too often. I, I just, I guess I'm just realizing that now. Hyperlanes don't really cross too often, but this one does. I wonder if that's a glitch then. Or it's just some weirdness. Yeah, if, I'm just wondering. I'm just, I'm just noticing for the first time. Hyperlines don't usually cross each other, which is funny. But anyway, that's not really important. Yeah, we are going to be uh, investigating these guys, taking them out, solidifying our borders, and possibly going to war with the communal state here. That is the current plans. Our glorious Lord of the Tides, Admiral Hubert Seaworthy, has finally died at the ripe old age of 101. And, uh, I guess we will keep it traditional. Why not? Plus five stability. A deep sorrow has gripped the public as news regarding the passing of Hubert Seaworthy spreads to the wider community. Countless mourners join the funeral procession on all tides to follow the traditional funeral rites. So yes, that means our original leader an ancestor of the great seaworthy house name has died and our wonderful princess lady florence seaworthy has taken the throne at a nice level six which means we need a new head of research uh yeah you oh our next scientist has already been groomed for a research position i've already been setting that up so that's good but what is not good is that our late hubert has died we will name a planet after him eventually. Actually, is this planet colonizable? Yes, okay. It's only a 12 size planet, so it's a little disrespectful, but I guess we can name this Port Hubert after our late king. This is gonna be a terrible world. It's not even worth mining. I'll, I'll probably just turn it into a big city so I, ha I can use the building slots. Space ball but either way, encountered. Oh, and we have a new princess. Princess Patrice. Uh, princess Patrice, you have forgot your last name again. That's okay. I will fix it for you. Uh, Patrice Seaworthy is an authoritarian scientist from the Ocean World Second Sea, where she previously held the position of noble. Interesting. Okay, well, luckily for us, we did get a scientist, because if we... Yeah, because we just lost a scientist. So, another scientist noble. Another scientist princess. This time, Patrice. We will see if she... Oh, we have nowhere to survey. Well, I guess you can just do this. Even though you're a little underqualified. But you'll figure it out on the job. Anyway, new princess. New world. 
Oh, and we uh, terraformed the world that we abandoned. This world actually does have good resources, so we will be colonizing that as well. Port Balsher, sure, why not? So yeah. A new heir has taken the throne. And our alloy uh, production has just increased by 15 as a result. <laughs> On another note, our our envoy, Alice Fleming, or whatever her name was, also died. So now Angrove Lulweather, Lul, Lulwer? Lulwer, Angrove Lulwer will be taking over the Omega Menace investigation, which is taking longer than I would like. Instruction complete. It's kind of delaying our plans here. Okay, here we go. Um, I think we will be doing engineered evolution, unless something comes up and we do mind over matter instead, but that's not what we'll be doing now. In fact, I don't think we will be taking any of these now, as they're not the ones that I want. Yeah, I think we're just going to leave the Ascension Perk blank for now and uh, fill that out later. I'm pretty sure we're going to go Genetic Ascension unless we have a pretty pretty uh, spectacular religious conversion here, which I don't see happening. Considering our factions, we have... N yeah, 74% of our people are in the... Ordered Society Authoritarian Faction, and yeah, the only only four percent are in our other ethic here, the Xenophobe. I guess there's another seven percent also in the Xenophobe Faction, but again, it's not looking like. I mean, it's not looking like we really need to have the Xenophobe ethic. Really, I mean, we could. I mean, 4% versus 4%, we could take the spiritualist. I mean, we can't because it's not 20%, but I could theoretically promote them and we could go spiritualist. I don't know. I mean, a spiritualist devotion to having only C people have uh, rights. That, could, that makes sense. That makes sense, you know, role play wise. So we might consider going spiritualist, but if we do not... If nothing crazy happens, then we will be going down the genetic ascension route. Even for a loathsome Xeno, your species is particularly vile gooberfish. They just called us a gooberfish. Gooberfish is an amazing insult. <laughs> Loyalty minus 100. Wow. Gooberfish, huh? And they really uh, have perfected their roasts. <laughs> okay, so we have finally figured out everything we need to know about the ancient mining drones. Hailing us. We will be... Let's just take... Actually, we'll take all of our fleets. Why not? And we'll go destroy them outright. Okay, we have finished first contact procedure. Let's, uh, let's investigate this. Situation log updated. Okay, we'll investigate the old gods, and potentially they could help us convert to spiritualism. Uh, let's let's investigate this enclave that's been in our territory for a long time, but we have not had the envoys to research it. Where is our science ship? What are you busy doing? Okay, princess, you are going to be coming over here and surveying these systems for when our fleets are done with them. Construction complete. So that we can finally spend our maximum Technology amount of Technology secured. On, uh... Attacking enemy vessels. Oh, attack has already began. Wow, oh, our fleets are quick. Well, rip. I think this might have been their home system. Possibly. Is Darius their home system? Tomb World of 15. I think it might be their home system. Uh, it was a 4K little thing there, so I. It might be their home system. I don't know. Attacking enemy vessels. Let's, uh. Where's our science ship? Yeah, let's get that queued up. 
Arcplete is making quick work of these mining drones. I don't think we've lost a ship yet. No. More old gods. Good. Colonization in progress. Arcplete. Are they... Are they doing Attacking what I Attacking enemy now? vessels. Anomaly found. Where are you? Where are you little guys going? This is a cool looking fleet, by the way. Alright, so we've taken out these guys. Are there any in this system? Attacking enemy vessels. Uh, okay, so... This wormhole is going to lead to here. Encountered. Mining cores. Is this their home system, maybe? Potentially. Yeah, this has even more fleet power than the other ones. We might even lose some ships to this one. Yeah, it looks like we are losing some ships. Maybe we should have healed. I didn't expect to find an even greater fighting force. Seems like we need a, we need wormhole tech soon. So we can figure out just exactly how messed up our borders really are. Politician 2, fleet organizer. I guess we'll make this guy a politician, why not? He is eventually going to be the defense minister. Or at least that's the plan. Oh, here we go. Wormhole stabilization, that is just what I was asking for. Um, Yeah, unified focus. More unity can't be a bad thing. Alright, so we have cleared out our territory here. There might... Okay, these guys... Uh-oh. Princess? Uh... Princess, get out of there. These guys are probably going to be setting up a... a fleet. Or not a fleet, but... Well, yes, a fleet, but an outpost. Somewhere in those systems. And is a merchant. What merchant is this? No. Please... Tell me what merchant this is. Uh, rare crystals. That is not. That is not what we needed. Let's see. Will they pop up? We'll just send the most powerful fleet here. All right. They are in the system. They're not Space setting up. Oh, they, they did just set up. Uh, Technology secured. 4K, that's a pretty good amount. We're definitely losing some ships to this one. Council All right. Agenda available. Uh, with some minimal losses. Okay, well, it looks like we are not going to be uh, having these guys trade with us. Too bad. We could use a mega corp setting up in our worlds, but Space -born life -form it's not meant encountered. to be. Oh, new civic slot. That would be great. But okay, princess, you're you're cleared for for re-entry. All right. So the potential bomb earlier that we left to keep ticking has decided to not blow up, and it was on the star, by the way. Remember, I, I remember I was like, is it in the star? And it wasn't the star. It seems to have. Uh, created a very cool ship, which we will be taking control of, a nanite ship. It's pretty big for just looking like a cruiser, or it's pretty big looking just to be a cruiser, but a yeah, cool new ship, definitely worth the wait, definitely worth not freaking out and calling it a bomb and destroying it. And we also have wormhole travel, so... Well, do we need hyperlanes? So yes, I am going to immediately send my science ship over here to check complete. out these wormholes and see how big the holes in our defenses really are. If this wormhole is just to our allies' Star choke point here, then that would be good. But if it is not, if it is not. Also, if this wormhole connects to this system, I, I already, I already kind of know that. Please build that. We are full on influence. Uh, unable to build a mining station. Okay, that's fine. Technology secured. This guy just leveled up. Um, 
Yeah, you're the head of research, so be a researcher. All right. Where is this? Oh, that is right there. Okay, so I was right. I was right. Okay, that wormhole is not too bad. If we need to take over these systems to establish a more uh, solid defensive structure, we can. But right now, we can we can rely on our allies to do that. Again, we have a defensive pact with them, so they would have to go through our allies to get through us, for the most part. Yeah, no, that that is uh, that is really nice. Oh, there's a war going on here that the Toxoids are handedly losing to the Megacorp. We will see how that works out. I I could have swore that Deneb is it, like it always spawns close to Soul, but I don't see a Soul. I see a Zol, but that is definitely not Soul. So uh, this is the Toxic Gods origin. So these these Toxoids worship the Toxic Gods because this is their night's habitat. I, I I can recognize that. Oh wow, their cap even their capital is uh is conquered by the Vim. Vin? Vrin. Vrin, yes. But these guys, uh... I, oh, they're being bombed right now. Yeah, they're gonna lose their... Yeah, they're, they're being bombed. So, I wonder what the end result of this war is going to be. I, I wonder if they have claims on all of them. That would be very... Very big shake-up if they did. In fact, I might... I might immediately go to war complete. and attempt to take this station when their war is over before they can even rebuild. Oh, they are pathetic to me right now. So yeah, no, I'll, uh, I think I'll declare war before they rebuild. There's an unemployed slave here. You know where you're going. Hackett's quarry. Wait, the ski can be, oh yeah, anglers, but not pearl divers, right? Anyway, interesting. I will have to see what the result of that war will be in the end. They are about to lose their capital system, so I assume capitulation will be Construction reducing. complete. Also, while we're here, we might as well explore this natural wormhole. Yeah, it's, it goes to here. I'm pretty sure there's some hostiles in there. Yeah, I can't... I don't want to send the princess in. Although, if we're being honest, this is not a very good uh, princess. <laughs> I, I might be able to shake up the royals with this. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's that's not in the spirit of our of our playthrough here. Come on. I'm gonna research all the debris. I know it's just gonna have uh, mining is mining drone lasers, right? Yeah, cutting drone lasers. They're not they're not good at all. Uh, another hive mind. Clear skies. Oh no, the kaleidoscope has went away. Technology Shame. secured. A shame. We are uh, we are g gathering an asset in here, by the way, to increase our infiltration cap because we do want to see all of their systems. I, I kind of want to see. Well, I guess. Actually, I guess we can see that this does not connect to this. I guess we don't really know if this connects to this, but you know, I'd be I'd be willing to bet that it does not. Well, it seems that uh, yeah, the people behind this wormhole were not friendly as I expected, in a different way than I expected. I will be honest. Oh, never mind. Oh, hello, galactic community. Yes, we will be joining that. Oh, okay. So the chosen are coming from here. Is this the chosen systems? Yeah, these are the chosen systems. Council agenda ready. Huh. All right. We'll, we'll see how much that actually affects galactic politics. I thought the chosen spawned here. I was like, that's not how that normally works. Leadership conditioning. Yeah, that's just it's such a powerful uh, council thing. We'll do favorite society. That's also a good one. Yeah, we have a lot of leaders to level up. A underappreciated member of the citizenry. So what is that, like a cleric or something? No, a laborer. 
What's our infiltration cap now? 75. Hopefully that'll be enough to see all of their hyperlanes and get a good look at all of their planets. Okay, I can see all their planets already, I think. Uh, one big fortress world on a savanna. Almost not worth taking. But yeah, the Chosen could be a threat to us after all. Because this wormhole here, I mean, it's, what, at, at like most seven jumps away from our systems, at, at worst like five, four, so yeah, the Chosen might be coming for us after all. I don't really know how strong they are. I, I assume they're probably pretty strong considering they're an event, but yeah, these guys are pathetic. They're not going to be able to defend if they immediately choose to go to war. I don't know Technology if they will. Secured. I'm not too sure about everything regarding the Chosen. Do they have to go to war, or are they just like a crisis? They seem to be spawning in just as an empire, so... Yeah, I guess we'll we'll see. They have their borders close to us. Free influence to rival them, because they're just fanatic purifiers anyway. Not that we need influence. I wish I had something to spend it on, like... Habitats or orbital rings, but we have not got that tech yet. Habitation module. We're about to get the habitational module, but... No orbital rings yet. The galactic community is here, and thus... Something to spend our influence on, so... What will we... I guess we'll do this. It's just a shore win. And then we might do something else afterwards, but... Hey, at least I spent some influence. Technology secured. The 1C Triad. Where are they? Well, they are big. These guys are big too. The empires on the other side of the galaxy tend to be bigger. Actually, I guess that's not true. Maybe we're just the exception, just in this corner. Empires are pretty big. Except these guys. I don't know what's going on with these guys. I guess they're a common ground start that got boxed in. So we finally got that civic slot. We will reform our government. We do have enough influence, right? Or not influence, unity. It costs unity now. Uh. So what? Well, what will we do here? Environmentalist feudal society. Crusader spirit. Aristocratic elite. I'm I'm leaning towards aristocratic elite, but the the stability on our worlds is already pretty good. And then most of these worlds are probably going to end up having uh deep space black sites as well so i know i'm not sure we really need the stability but just for like role play fa uh, flavor and just for fun little thing to have i think we might we might go aristocratic elite i'm, I'm not sure philosopher king counselor experience gain plus 20 percent counselor experience gain hmm i might do that i might go all into leaders but, then again, leaders can only reach level 10, and it's looking like our Princess Florence is going to do that before the end of her life. Well, maybe not. She's only 98. Or, or, I mean, not only 98. She is 98, which, uh, oh, we can actually see. Uh, let's, where is she? Yeah, Lady of the Tides, 98. We can actually see here, okay, age is, age is under 100. 0% death chance. So after she gets to 100, she will start being able to die. So I guess we could use Philosopher King. Yeah, just for the Counselor Experience King, because our leaders are currently dying before their thing. And it makes sense for our Empire to have a Philosopher King, because all of our leaders so far have been pretty pretty influential so yeah I guess we will do the philosopher king I think it makes more sense and it might benefit us more as well uh, we definitely need the minister of the seas still so uh, I think that was this guy before and now we will be doing Lord Chancellor instead of the other thing because it's just not very important the um, well, I guess I can't show you now but well I guess yeah I can the yeah, speaker of kin, citizen, political power, plus 2%. That's, that's really not... Really not all that good. I mean, the only thing that could, it could maybe affect is stability. And, like, as you can see, the stability is not 
not really changed. So it's it's not a very good council position. This this uh, civic is not very good in general, but like numbers wise, it's uh, again it's very cool. It's it's the whole reason I'm doing this playthrough. But numbers wise, power wise, could be better. This is the bonus I was talking about when it came to mining drones. Not this. I don't care about that. Yeah, this is the bonus. Construction complete. Percent plus minerals. Gave us a noticeable boost. Uh, it's several artifacts. Oh, they're giving us a Cybrex artifact. I think that's the last one we need yet. Uh, where is it? Ah. Wow. Um, right next to Zol, huh? Uh, that makes our hold over this area pretty even weaker, because now three choke points. But, eh, they're our allies anyway. Yeah, we, we have, uh, yeah, contact the, where is the nearest science ship, by the way? Excavating archaeological site. Yeah, you need to get down here and do the thing before, wait. Where is our nearest construction ship? Wow, there, okay. Uh, the, the Zol, you know, the Zions might actually, uh, might actually get this. Are they, no, they're not. They have cloaking technology. Hmm, I don't even have cloaking technology. Are they not, uh, are they not sending a science ship to research that? <laughs> Look, why is the science ship such low health? 75 out of 3, 300, okay. Well, it looks like uh, they're actually not going to be contesting me, which they very much could. Minister of Defense died. Erect an appropriate memorial. Yeah, that seems... That seems good for Bruce Orwell. Oh, man. Governor Peter Amcrock. Okay, um... Your strength will be remembered, yes. I guess we'll do another... Or we can do Let the Masses Mourn on this one. Well, uh, we now have an open council position. I've been grooming this guy to be the counselor for there. Um, we now need two more leaders, so... I guess we don't need two more. We don't particularly need another admiral. Is this No, this this admiral is Lord Chancellor though. So we might need another admiral for when they die. What planet is missing a governor now? Oh just oh it was just a planetary governor, it wasn't like a sector governor. So Yeah, I guess we will do another admiral. Um fifteen percent naval capacity or Edicts and leader gain. Hmm. They're all authoritarian, by the way. Um. Let's do. Let's do naval capacity. Sure, why not? Actually, no. That might mess our empire up in the long run. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do this. I say that might mess our empire up in the long run because if we have plus twenty percent naval capacity or whatever, and then we that that leader dies, it could send us into an economic downturn. So we got to be careful about that. Yeah, we're still not picking an ascension bird. We still don't 100% have it figured out what we're going to do yet. What? 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 Where? Oh! Wait. Oh, am I? I'm, I'm, I'm silly. This, and they're, they are actually uh, waking up to the music that they have a fully free for the taking uh ring world here construction complete i think they might Vessels have already upgraded. surveyed it is there a construction ship on the moon star system charted it is oh no <laughs> they're actually going to get it before me just because our construction ship was so far away yeah we've already surveyed it as well uh yeah we're not going to get this well,
Yep. Yeah. Congratulations. Your uh, your contract might be changed here. To integration permitted. Congratulations, you got a promotion. Not yet. We don't we don't even have the technology to rebuild it yet, but wow, that is that is super unfortunate. Just slightly late too. Special project complete. Oh wow, that was quick. Big bonuses there. And Cybrex War Forge. We will be using that, of course. Damn, that is uh, that is unfortunate. We are going to have to uh, integrate these guys eventually, which I didn't really want to do. Kind of wanted to keep them as my pet, but there's not really much else I can do. Otherwise, I just give them the the ring world. I mean, I guess I could theoretically I could release them and then go to war with them for the ring world and then revassalize them. But I am I'm not I'm not doing all that. I I'm probably just gonna. No, I don't really need a ring world anyway. Actually, hmm, thinking about it, I don't need the ring world at all because it's not an ocean. Yeah, it's not an ocean. I don't even know if my people would be secured. happy on it, considering it's not an ocean. Oh, we finally got orbital rings, which we needed. We, we need those to spend our influence. Okay, useless construction ship. I have a job for you. I have many jobs for you. This is an easy way to uh, give all of your worlds a orbital ring. By the way, you just click on click on them. Uh, left click in the HUD over here. Okay, we're lacking. Um, okay, but yeah, that's a that's a trick. You you can left left click on or right click sorry right click on the Special world here complete. and then have your construction ship uh selected and then hold shift build mega structure ring world and then right click on the next world and just keep doing that so i guess this is an educational channel now but so yeah that's a little trick I guess this is an educational channel now, but uh, let's see. We got the old gods revelation. Okay, we we can actually shift towards the divine because of this. So actually, I think we might. The complete doctrine of the gods. For that is how we believe the text should be regarded. Hmm. Yes. It makes sense that we were clear. Uh, it's clear that we were meant for greatness, guided by the strong hand of a religious leader. We are destined for godhood, but our past is littered with unfulfilled prophecies and sin born of ignorance. Redemption is Ephraim. Okay, yeah, we'll... Okay, so we do this, right? And then we get rid of xenophobe, right? Because if we get rid of authoritarian, that's not good. We did get rid of authoritarian. Actually, I think I can fix that uh, right now, actually. Because... Actually, I don't know. If I if I switch back towards Okay, I will uh promote this faction for a bit and then I will do the embrace faction on the ordered society and that will mm, it, it will it will definitely get rid of either xenophobe or spiritualist. I'm trying to get rid of xenophobe, so that's why I'm promoting the spiritualist faction just to be 100% certain that if we embrace this once again this faction that we'll get rid of xenophobe instead of uh spiritualist but yeah it, it seems like we are going to convert to spiritualist because of the old gods so actually in fact i'm just gonna go all in on spiritualist and do mind over matter right now in fact in fact i don't really need to finish prosperity i could just go psionics now Oh, we don't have psionic theory technology. We'll, we'll have to get that. So our bill for the galactic market has passed, which is good. I'm not sure we have any worlds that really fit the bill when it comes to a worthy world. Yeah, only seven clerks. <laughs> uh, you know, I could, I could do this. 
maybe boost our trade a little bit. In fact, we don't we don't really even need. Actually, we don't even set a district either. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll nominate our world anyway because quite simply we just have complete. plenty of influence. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Can we boost our nomination? Uh, revoke nomination. Yeah, boost nomination. We just have so much influence. We're just maxed out all the time, so we might as well do that. Uh, maybe we'll get it. Maybe we'll. Maybe we won't. Habitats. Yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna do habitats because we have to flood them, and like, that's just a pain. And also, even if you flood them, it's still not very, very good for the aquatics. So, yeah, we have we have more workers. Guess where you're going? Hackett's Quarry. Yay! We love Hackett's Quarry. Don't we all love Hackett's Quarry? It's great. You get to mine, you get to mine. But anyway, yeah. I'm not sure we'll we'll get the nomination, but we certainly will try for it. We have plenty of influence to, to try. And plenty of money as well. In fact, we have plenty of resources overall. Might have to shift them around. Council agenda available. We'll wait until the galactic market uh, happens. We'll get more money out of it. Uh-oh. Oh no, the princess. Well, she was princess. Now she's high queen. Oh, I guess they've changed the title to high queen instead of lord of the seas, which is unfortunate. I wish they wouldn't have done that. But yeah, our, our type of government changed, so. That is unfortunate. Um, Chant for her soul. I guess she is the one who converted us to spirituality, so yeah, let's chant for her soul. Consumer goods upkeep. The carnival protesters, yeah, we're definitely not going to be doing Situation any carnival updated. protesting, no thank you. As soon as we can get rid of that, we will. This is a not very skilled Construction queen. Complete. Which is unfortunate. Who's our heir going to be? Let's see. Crown Princess Elizabeth. Yeah, this is a... Okay, well, you forgot your last name again. Whoopsie. We'll, we'll fix that. I don't know why the game does that. They used to... Uh, the game used to automatically have the last name of the heir be the same last name as... I don't know. Maybe it's the name set or maybe they just broke it again. Because it was, like, broken for a bit and then they fixed it, but then they broke it again. So, I don't know. This This person is, like... Not very good. They are a governor, though. We, we, we could use a governor. Uh, I guess we'll make Port Hubert a new sector, and you be the leader. But yeah, anyway, we'll get our money situation figured out. Probably convert it into alloys, which then we will convert into fleet power. We are a little bit below our fleet sizes uh, max maximum here, but yeah, as you might notice, we are focusing mainly on ships with good evasion and we will eventually switch to uh actually wait right now we will switch to hit and run yeah combat disengagement chance so we'll just try to uh do a little bit of uh, cheeky hit and run wars from now on i mean it's better than I, I like to switch up the way i build my fleet each time but yeah it, we basically have the uh Corvettes go in and just swarm them. And then the destroyers. Oh, they are currently a picket. No, you want to do artillery. That's being built. Uh, I'll fix that. But yeah, these guys have kinetic batteries. Level one, but yes, kinetic batteries and medium UV lasers. And they are meant to attack them from a distance. And even if they do get through the Corvettes and attack our destroyers they still have pretty good evasion way more evasion than any uh battleship or cruiser would have okay yeah no arrest these artists i am not dealing with any manifesty nonsense today no way yeah, we only have one scientist now which is completely fine because we don't we don't really need oh we are about to have zero scientists if this guy dies i gotta remember anyway yeah, I think we will be going to war with these guys. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to just vassalize them. And then, do we have our... 
Vasilization. Pilot wear. Oppressive vassalage. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to vassalize these guys and then we're going to slowly integrate them. I think that's the way I'm going to be doing things in this playthrough. I don't normally do that, so that's pretty cool. Okay, these guys war with uh, with the Zol are done and or the well, let's see what are they the altar yeah they are they are done and they have not taken as much but oh oh United altar and Lee. okay so this is they created a a vassal out of these uh, out of most of their territory and left these two states as border gore I'm pretty sure that's what happened because these their colors are the same uh, why are they why are there fleets on our border? Vessels oh, they're upgraded. Just, uh, they're just moving. Okay, I didn't know if they were Vessels up for an attack upgraded. as their fleets and their armies were in the... Yeah, nipped in the bud. No manifesty joy. Their fleets and their army were on our border, but... Let's take Technology them, like, fine. secured. Let's, um... Can we fix our ship design now, please? Thank you. Okay, we'll get these ships upgraded and then we will be going to war to vassalize these guys and eventually integrate them. I'm pretty sure we're eventually going to integrate them. Alright, our fleets are in place. We are going to vassalize these guys, but first, first before that, I would like to embrace this faction because, yeah, 15, 15 and 9, that's not as much as 40, so... Let's embrace the Ordered Society Coalition, and I think that gets rid of Xenophobe. Yeah, Fanatic Authoritarian Spiritualist. Alright. Let's see what these Spiritualists want, anyway. 25% um, of the population being Spiritualist. Well, we will get there, hopefully. We are, we are headed there. So yeah, we have uh, we have successfully converted mid game our empire. High Queen Beatrice Seethe Worthy is overseeing our transition. Oh, but yeah, let's declare war. Let's not forget vassalization. We have declared war to safeguard our interests. Um. Yeah. I probably should build a standing army at this point. In fact, I will do that. Um, oh, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll pull you back to here so we can study the remains. We can do automatic, uh, whatever. What's the closest place here? Hearth C. I guess we'll do, what, what, what? Okay, yeah, the ski are definitely the move when it comes to assault army. So yeah, we'll build a standing secured. army. Just in Attacking case we enemy vessels. Hopefully they will just surrender to bombardment though. Oh, these guys are gonna take a while. This is the fortress world, right? Attacking yeah, enemy vessels. Straight up fortress world. We really don't even need to take their little fortress world because it's just not, like, it's just out of the way. Okay, the Chosen are on Psionic. Speaking of the Chosen, I thought they would be more of a threat than they are. It seems like they haven't even left their, their little place. Space Storm Fan has arrived. Well, that's not exactly uh, great timing on our part, but it'll be fine. Huh, you can only be a researcher. Oh, that's because you're the queen. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Because the other options would not really make much sense. Yeah, we'll keep our scientist there. Our only scientist. I guess this can go rest above all tides. If we get another scientist, we'll do assisting research. Uh, one of our governors died. We'll elect a memorial. Artisans have been provided with the finest materials to fashion the likeness of Nicholas Space Wall. Space life form encountered. Yeah. Let's see here. They were the governor of Hearthsea. Okay, let's uh, let's get Princess Elizabeth to 
Govern Heartseat. Those are not very good perks for a princess, but then we'll have another leader do this silly little thing. Um, slave output would be good on a different planet. Mm, plus food would be good on a different planet. Um, in fact, yeah, I'm I'm actually gonna have the princess keep keep governing this and we're gonna have the dude who's good at uh, getting the most out of slaves work here by the way this is not our founding species this is another another different type of uh, aquatic so we finally have uh, our first aquatic alien leader but of course look at us we just look so similar we're both aquatics it's all great we're equals these guys though definitely not equals look at them cats can they even swim disgusting uh, and they've surrendered construction okay so looks like we're not going to need a standing army but uh it'll be good to have one regardless but yeah we don't we don't need all of these tad unnecessary we also don't need a general. I was considering secured. making a general, but we don't really need it. Attacking enemy assets. Facility of Arco Studies. Uh, ecological adaption could be nice. Fleet command limit could also be nice. I guess we'll do that. Er. Yeah, we'll. Yeah, that's fine. Um, battleships. I think we are going to include battleships in our fleets, but mainly as carriers. Yeah, mainly as carriers because we're going a full evasion thing. But having some carriers with some strike craft might be, complete. might be nice. Okay, it seems I've jumped right into the enemy here without knowing it. Our shields are absolutely useless because space storm. But uh, it looks like their shields are also quite useless and they are handedly losing. That's not to say that we didn't lose some ships, though. Yeah, we certainly did. But they certainly lost more. Yeah, they, they put up a good fight. I can't say they did not. I think we're just going to have to push through and take this station. Or maybe not. Would that be... Well, if we don't, we have to retreat all the way to Heaven Sky. Haven Sky, whatever. Actually, you know, what? I am going to take the station. We're going to we're going to take Attacking a few more losses. I'm aware of that, but we would have to retreat so far as to uh, repair when we could just repair here. So I, I think we're going to be doing that instead. Uh, uh, commanding presence. You know, that's my little favorite. Yeah, 115. This early, we can have a crazy fleet there. Actually, that's, let's go ahead and uh, try it. They are desperately trying to stop my advance at this point. With their cruisers. Cruiser and Space Corvette split, it seems like. Encountered. Interesting. And, wow, that is a very interesting battle tactic. They, Attack my station and then retreat. Spaceborn life form encountered. We're taking it. Zero G research okay. platform disrupted. Now what? Now you're leaving? Okay. This is an interesting uh, strategy from the AI here. We did end up taking the planet. Maybe we can catch up to them. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Attacking enemy vessels. They can't really sneak around us. Because I don't think our allies have borders open to them, so. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if we take on their fleets or not. We're going to slowly whittle their empire down either way. They're not even too far away from uh, letting us vassalize them now, and we've barely pushed in. Attacking so. enemy vessels. Construction complete.
Yeah, soon, soon they will. Attacking uh, enemy assets. Soon they will capitulate. What do you want? Two specialist pops for a bunk bed. No, I don't think so. Let's uh. Two hundred armies. Construction complete. Attacking enemy vessels. They might just surrender after we take this planet. Who leveled up? You. Yeah, I, I, uh, I hired you for your iron fist. So, more iron fist, please. Let's land our armies. Might as well. Planetary invasion commenced. Make some use out of them. What is the fastest way to the capital? Just in case they don't feel like capitulating soon. Okay, this way. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. Attacking enemy assets. One of our admirals have also leveled up. Sub Sublight speed is always good. Especially in a space storm. Attacking enemy assets. They're close. They are close. Either way, we're rapidly approaching the capital, and there's not too much they can do to stop us from taking it, so this war is all but one. Technology seems secured. Like. Zero point reactors. Let's do basic cloaking. Buzzword standardization. That's not particularly good for us. It's not a big deal, though. Attacking enemy vessels. Oh, here, here they come. 8k that time. They're building up, but not fast enough. We are rapidly destroying this planet. Wow. Look at this. What are we even doing to them? I'm not even sure I have all of my... Yeah, I don't even have all my fleets on. Oh, no, I do. I do have them. Wow, that was... That was a little ridiculously quick. No, nope, we are going to have to take the capital vessels. after all. Well, let's do it. Wow, yeah, our, something about our bombardment just went into insane style. We are shredding their armies down. Yeah, it's not going to be long before they capitulate. Resettle more pops off of our planet. It's okay, they love Hackett's Quarry. They can't get enough of it. Actually, we're running out of mining jobs. I guess we'll do something else with the rest of the planet. I, I'm not sure yet what that is. Planetary invasion commenced. Ground invasion force has seized a planet. Yeah, you're ready now, buddy. Oh, they're not too ready. They're only barely ready after we took the capital. Well, we will be vassalizing you. Technology secured. Let's see here. We have integration permitted. I think I might... I might start integrating them immediately. Can, oh, wait, I cannot. I have to wait till 2302. And it will cost 300 influence. Okay. Well, we might as well use our one holding that we have. Vaults. Ministry of Truth is fine. We have plenty of influence, but more influence can't hurt. And we will research their debris. Does their debris have anything useful? Uh, plasma thrower. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, an advanced combat computer? Yeah. Yeah, I will take that. So yeah, we will eventually integrate them. That'll make our borders very nice. With only a little bit of gore over here. Which I might backstab my enemy, or my allies in the future. To get. I mean, it's not like they're aquatics. It's not like they really are 
you know, deserving our res of our respect, but I don't know. It could be nice having allies for a change. They also look like they're going to potentially join this federation down here because yeah, these guys are really good friends with, uh, with the Plague Barons. So if they joined that federation, this, this would actually be a pretty powerful block over here. What is this nation? Militaristic spiritualists, okay. I haven't seen them before. I wonder, are they friendly with the Plague Baron? No, absolutely not. So potentially these guys might team up and take these guys out, potentially. So I'm about to start a war with this empire simply to gain our one claim we have declared war to safeguard our interests Deneb. and i'm doing that because they're just pathetic to me over the mark so one might ask am i really petty enough to declare war against a major galactic power for one system and the answer to that question is a resounding yes we built an observation post We'll need to realize they are studying us. Okay. First contact with the... Hold on. Ah, there you are. Well... Yeah, how quaint. For... Okay. Yeah, that's the first time we've uh, seen primitives, really. That's another reason why I want this world. Um... They're not quite willing to give it to us yet. I will leave this fleet there to deal. We'll, we'll make our way to some of their core worlds to bomb them into wanting to give us that little world. Valued clients. Right. Attacking enemy assets. Construction complete. Attacking enemy vessels. Hmm. Okay. Technology secured. Yeah, let's go. Let's go here. The death of a great leader. Minister of Defense. Well, he needs an appropriate more Round uh, invasion force has seized the planet. We have someone to take his place. Okay, we do. We do have another admiral to take his place. Uh, which admiral was that? Oh, that was our um. That was our admiral that. I had commanding presence, huh? So this fleet split. That is the one bad side of commanding presence is the inevitable fleet splitting. Uh, I guess we'll... I don't think we really have many spiritualist leaders. So we might do this guy just to appease the faction. Let's see. Is it hurting their feelings that they don't have anyone on the council? Well, it's hurting their feelings, but... Nope, it is represented on the council. Wait, is our... You're not spiritualist, are you? No, you're authoritarian. Okay, yeah, it's not absolutely necessary. We, we uh, hire someone on the basis of politics. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go with... The skirmisher. The higher fire rate. I guess we'll have this fleet just follow this fleet wherever it goes. It's not, it's not a huge deal. Spaceborn life form encounter. And they don't want to fight anymore. They're just like, yeah, <laughs> you can you can have this one system. It's not it's not at all worth it. Um We could turn this into a fortress station, or we could just downgrade it and save ourselves the energy. I think we're just gonna downgrade it. If I need to upgrade it again in the future, that's fine. Yeah, they lost a lot of ships for one system. And it's no wonder why they just capitulated. I would as well. 
I noticed they has I noticed that they had some frigates too, which is uh, absolutely useless against my fleets, unless they actually push far enough to get to the <clears throat> the battleship carriers in the back. Our carriers are not very effective. Let's see here. Yeah, they are carriers, but they only carry basic strike craft, so we're gonna need to uh, research better strike craft if we want them to start pulling their weight. The Great Khan is here. Where exactly are you? Here you are. That is far enough away from me that I do not have to even worry about it. What are we gonna lose? Volatile moats? Oh, okay. Well, we'll just buy a thousand of them. A thousand five hundred, just to be safe. Mm, yeah, I was thinking about getting the Arcology product, but I don't know. I'm not 100% sure that that our species is gonna be fine on a giant city world, because they only like oceans, right? Aquatic, ocean worlds, and flooded habitats. Yeah, so it looks like we're not going to be doing Ecumenopolis mm, this playthrough. We are gearing up for Florence to be our new capital after our late princess and eventually high queen who ruled over pretty much the golden age of our civilization. And this forge world is huge and it's approaching the pops of my regular world so mainly through uh mainly through moving pops here that were unemployed on other planets which again i love resettling pops like it's just so necessary and especially this playthrough it's been so necessary because our planet is just not very big i've probably resettled at least 40 pops off this world by now and we just could not we just could not sustain that if we were like an egalitarian. So I know there's ways around it if you're an egalitarian, but resettlement is just so nice. So that's why I love authoritarian and just basically not egalitarian. Anything but egalitarian for the most part. I mean, I love egalitarian as much as the next guy, but resettling pops is, is so nice. Of course, you know, you can automatically resettle them and do a whole bunch of different stuff, but yeah, I think Actually, I think I think now is a good enough time as any to actually move our capital to Florence. Let's delete this sector. And then... Yeah, this is how our sectors look now. It's more clean this way, really. There's only two sectors, and they encompass our entire empire. And Florence, which is our new empire capital, is going to be a forge capital. You are governing all tides. We'll have the person who used to be governing... Uh, actually, no. We'll keep this guy um, governing his little planet. Uh, which which planet? Yeah, Hearthsea. We'll, we'll keep this guy governing Hearthsea because plus 20% slave output is really paying off for us. Maybe we can even spend the... Well, uh, no, we won't. But uh, yeah, that's really paying off for us. We're going to keep that guy doing that. No governor on all tides. We haven't completely abandoned our home world, but it's just not very big. Oh, uh, we we've just unemployed a whole bunch of people. I'm not a hundred percent sure why. Whatever. Well, you know what? As uh, as we move capitals will move our population that got displaced. That makes a lot of sense, I think. They're just unemployed here as well, but you know, it's fine. Size 20 world. Yeah, we'll we'll get it more size more sized up. Um we can also expand parent planetary C. I haven't done that yet. That'll be our first Aura station. Yeah, or station, you can you can go to here now. Is this uh did this mess up all of our Yeah, it did mess up all of our uh Well, you all go here now. 
Yeah, Paradox should probably fix this. This seems like a... Like a weird bug to have. Doesn't take too long to fix, though. Alright, all fixed. But yeah, we have moved our capital to Florence, named after the great Queen Florence Seaworthy. Maybe our current queen, Beatrice, will might be able to do something with her legacy, but currently... Currently not really. I mean, Florence was everything. She was our top scientist. She discovered the precursors. She discovered half the anomalies in our empire. Probably, no. Definitely more than half. All, pretty much all the anomalies in our empire. And then she led us in our golden age that made us so powerful. And then eventually converted us to spiritualism, which is our current empire's ethics. So she really did everything. It, it makes sense to make her world the new empire capital, especially since it is bigger and better and just overall more beneficial to have as our capital. And it fixed our weird sector issue, which, uh, yes. And our, our uh, new planet here, they grew up and kind of forced us to vassalize them because I think these guys were enlightening them and we inherited that enlightenment it's okay though we have integration permitted and we will integrate them eventually disloyal but their opinion is going up interesting but yeah we'll we'll integrate them they have a nice world actually when it comes to resources so in due time we also plan on integrating these guys soon how many yeah basically one year one year and a half We'll, uh, we'll integrate those guys. Pretty sure this is the most powerful people in the galaxy here. Let's see. Yeah, it is. We are only third on the powerful in the galaxy list, at least when it comes to diplomatic weight. So, focus the great con. Oh, we'll form the Galactic Council, yes. I, while I am secured. still in third, I might as well do that. I also want this. And this. Not that. AI always wants to do that. I don't. Oh, Strikecraft. We needed those. I was talking about that earlier. Yes. How is the great con doing, by the way? Not, not great, not terrible. Oh, the Great Khan is on the doorstep of the most powerful people here. Well, they have a pretty large doorstep, actually. They have this whole portion of the galaxy. What are these guys? They are necroids. Are they actually necroid necroids, though? That is the question. Thrifty, venerable, Construction century, complete. decadent, non of it. Hmm. I don't think they're actually necroids, because it would say that, right? In their traits? Yeah. Oh, they just lost a planet. They were at 10. And they're losing diplomatic weight as we speak. No, they're gaining it? No, they're losing it? Yeah, these guys must be at war with the Great Khan because they just lost a planet. Hmm. The Great Khan is already dead. So ends the reign of blank. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> He's so unnotable that complete. even the message forgot his name. Yeah, they are they're losing territory as we speak. Space um, life Our minister encountered. of the seas has retired to collect data on the Empire's noble ancestry. Well, at least he had a good reason. Um, I guess we'll have the crown princess on the council just so she learns more. I believe in you, Elizabeth. Patrice is kind of, uh... Well, she's... She's trying. She is trying. So we need a new governor of... Our core sector here. Uh, lavish lifestyle, that doesn't bother me none. Mm. Let's see. Army veteran... None of these uh, governors are very, very good. Leader will pull refreshes in five years. Uh, well, I guess I'll just take the guy who's, well, 
Honestly, none of them are really good. At the very least, this guy... This guy's psionic. Alright, at the very least, this guy is... Uh, going to adapt quickly. So that's nice. He's got army veteran, which... It's actually not very good, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. You know, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. I can actually hire another leader on top of that, because we researched a tech. Um, I guess I could do another admiral. I could do a general. We don't need a scientist. We're barely making use of our scientist as it is, so... I guess the blue fleet is going to have an admiral. Yeah, this guy seems good. In faith lies victory. Well said, brother. Well said. Alright, well, it seems that we have, uh... We have integrated our subject here. Yeah, and things are already not going too great. Let's see, how many low stabilities do we have? Oh, all of them. All of their planets, okay. Well, let's check these guys out. Our little frontier sector here. Uh, where would be a good place to put... Maybe here? That sector covers most of it. Yeah, I guess we could break this into two sectors here. Because one, two, three... One, two... Yeah, no matter what, uh, we're going to need to have two sectors. So we might as well keep their old capital as the sector capital. This is a crystal producing world with some industrial districts. I guess this is a factory world, which fine. I guess that works. Uh, we're going to have to do a lot. Oh, undesirables. They had robots. Well, yeah, we're, we're not doing robots. Oh, they had habitats too. Uh, we could flood the habitat. Yeah. Do we want to flood the habitat, though? Is it worth flooding a habitat? Uh, well, yeah, this is actually quite the nice habitat. What about this one? Yeah, this is quite the nice habitat, too. Okay, I think I will actually flood these habitats. Um, after all, yeah. And how's the rest of the worlds look? This is a factory world, apparently. They kind of turned this into a fortress world. Where is this world? It's a decent fortress world location. Alright. Oh, and this is the fortress world we took over. It's in our core sector now, actually. Luckily for them. Yeah, I think this could be a... Yeah, I think this could be stay a fortress world mixed with a nice little agriculture world. But yeah, at first glance... We have, uh, oh, minus 400, that's, well, we're going to have to fix that. Planetary Sea expanded. Yeah, our capital is looking greater by the day here. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll sort this out and then I'll get back to you once. There is no more red on these, <laughs> on all these little, uh, planets here. All right, so I've fulfilled my promise of getting rid of all the red and even all the unemployment on these worlds they're still not amazing worlds but they will have to do I've, I've imported the leaders for each of them to stabilize the stability and I'm currently converting them to what we need with lots of reactor districts cuz yeah it could be going better in the energy cleared. department okay so I, I just ticked over the month and it seems like my meddling has already halved our issues here which is which is very good we have way over the amount of stations that we need but i think we'll grow into it i don't really feel like tearing all these stations down it's a waste of good naval capacity which if we tear all the stations down then we're way over naval capacity anyway so it's uh we might as well leave them up we might as well leave them up i guess we'll have to go for station increasing techs 
which we could do now, but climate restoration is very, very important, so we are, we are gonna pick that first. But, uh, yeah. Our new sector. Oh, I've, I've also reorganized the sector, so now this, this little LC shape, whatever you want to call it, is now a sector, and this core sector is the new sector with their old home world being the capital of the sector instead of just some random trash world. Uh, yes, yeah, as you can see, we are we are converting this to our needs with generator districts. We we'll probably tear down. Well, now this this world can stay a alloy foundry, but a bunch of the other worlds had like random, yeah, like random factories. One factory. This is turning me into a liar. Yeah, random three factories. So we're probably gonna tear those down and convert them. They also really didn't care about amenities in this empire. I'm having to build hollow theaters on lots of these worlds here. Hollow theaters and gene clinics on this one. So yeah, my, my conquering them isn't even the main cause of the low stability. It's just they didn't care about amenities before. But we will fix that. We will fix their silly mistakes with their silly little empire. And taking off the sector map, our empire is looking pretty good. Nangrim pops are declining due to excessive crowding. Well, that's that's fine for now. We don't really care about that. Uh, we're gonna run out of energy credits in 12 months. Yeah. And then what is the what is the Thorexidon League? What what even is that? This these guys hostile to me, but your overlord loves me, and we're in a defensive pack, so... Yeah. You're gonna have to uh, take that up with your overlord, buddy. You ain't, you ain't gonna get any claims over here. Let's see. Do you guys have claim? Oh, we can't... We can't check. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, we, uh... We've gotten things all figured out, and once we get climate restoration, then we'll have this bad boy figured out, and I think we'll have our core, well, our main part of our empire completed. I don't think we're going to need really any more land or space after this, uh, so further wars might just be vassalizing or just taking worlds and setting them to, uh, to auto, planet automation. I can't, I mean, this is about the amount of worlds that I want to micromanage. I'm not sure I want to do any more than that. Although I do like, I do like micromanaging the planets. That is an aspect of the game where I don't, I don't mind doing, even if it is objectively probably tedious, but I like it. And our capital is actually flourishing, or well, no, sorry, our home world is actually flourishing now that it's not our capital, so don't think that we've abandoned it. Um... Research Institute. We need five minerals. Are you serious? Okay, well, sure. We'll splurge. But, uh, and our, our capital is especially flourishing. 508 alloy production alone with more on the way. If we have the minerals. We, we have run out of minerals complete. and run out of energy credits buying minerals, reorganizing these guys' worlds with their no amenities and their random industrial districts, but we will fix that. And these guys are advancing. Oh, it's a hive mind. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Got a nice, hefty nameplate on the galactic stage now. We just got pirates. I mean, we also just defeated them. But it is worth noting that a large portion of our empire's uh, <laughs> energy credits just got demolished by one pirate this station. Is upgraded. Yeah, let's see it go back up. Yeah. Well. We're still not doing good. We need these guys to go back to the, uh, the station. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix this. We, we can't keep selling everything every month. Although we make so many alloys, and alloys are very lucrative to sell, so I guess we theoretically could. Ooh, frigates! Okay. Um, I wanted Titans. I really need Titans to get the Colossus that I want, but frigates also work because our fleet, again, is going to be a fleet of smaller, more evasive ships along with some strike craft carriers. 
and uh well, let's hold on let's upgrade all these fleets it's it's faster to select all the fleets and then go to the system and press upgrade on the station and click 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 but anyway yeah we 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 gonna we're gonna need frigates but more importantly we're gonna need titans because uh if we want colossus project we need titans so the council is back at its maximum amount of seats and uh we need a speaker of the kin which is basically an instrument of oppression and uh well technically it's not oppressing it's just elevating the uh you know privileged class but anyway i just thought it was extra funny that the speaker of the speaker of the kin is going to be not only one of the alien kin but also the iron fist guy who has been in charge of the slave planet for the longest time so the speaker of the kin is very fitting <laughs> and he's also authoritarian which is also very fitting all right so we found an alien the alien is motionless fate guides my steps yeah we have found a spiritualist legendary alien he would be pretty good resources from psionic pops plus 25 percent yeah, this guy would be pretty pretty damn good on our capital well that's not very good build cost oh build cost isn't too bad I, at least it's not ship upkeep but the question is is this guy aquatic I mean he looks like he could live in the ocean I mean he seems moist he, he seems like he could live in the ocean but then again he also does kind of look muscaloid which you know I guess he's I don't know I think I would say yes this guy comes from an ocean how did you get your gifts many years ago I toiled in the pits of a planetary mine my physical body was this mine an ocean world perchance you know I'd say this guy looks aquatic enough I will teach those who listen and listen to those who teach okay well we're over our leader cap by a little bit but that doesn't truly matter do we want to put him in charge of I guess we'll put him in charge of this sector here maybe it'll do some work converting them to spiritualist although we might have to switch him once once we uh figure out what his true calling is because these pops are not going to be psionic so yeah these pops are not going to be psionic and this guy is mainly for psionic I mean plus 25% resource from psionic pops I mean yeah I'm guessing these guys are they late in psionic no no oh, these guys are we should take these guys complete. under our wing can we special project complete we can't do that just yet but we will eventually what percentage of our empire even is okay so the ski is 16 percent the kin is 19 percent and the andaria is 25 percent so they outnumber us in our own empire now which is fine they're still uh they're still aquatics and beyond that they are like aquatic aquatics like they have the aquatic uh you know trait here so they are aquatic as they come just like us we could not share our empire with a better species. We have got the Great Awakening tradition, and the veil has been lifted. We are fully psionic now, all of our leaders. We still have this. I, I am still waiting for the uh, Colossus Project, the Titans technology, so that we can get that, but I digress. Our leaders are psychic. Why... I guess it's not a it's not a council thing when they're not our leader but yeah all of our leaders are psychic now all of our potential leaders as well these guys aren't is there yeah allows psionic assimilation well we will do that I I don't know how bad that's gonna crash our economy let's see let's see the damage technology secured yeah yeah Star I hope they convert quickly charted. 
but I, I want them to uh, join us in our psionic ascension. Oh wow, this is a very worthwhile tech. I think that's the tech this guy found in here. He also has another anomaly to research. Sure, research that. We don't really need a Gaia world, considering we can't really do anything with it, so we'll just leave it there. At low stability. Oh, we are minus a thousand a month. Complete. Not good. And uh, some of our planets are on the brink of revolt. Which ones? Yeah, these. Yeah, they just lost all of their entertainers, policemen, and politicians. I can see how that would destabilize the planet. <laughs> yeah. Well. We'll figure it out. This is definitely not a factory world. I don't know what planet you're on thinking this is a factory world. This is a fortress world if I've ever seen one. I would I would say our amenities are terrible, but that's because all of our entertainers just Oh, we I should have uh, I should have sold things before that happened. That's not good. Uh I don't I saw some minerals. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Spaceport under attack. And pirates. Wow, that is going to make our energy credits even even lower if that was even possible. We'll increase benefits. Can't deal with even less stability now. Sure, go ahead. Take care of these pirates. I will technology secure. I'll set these guys to aggressive so that they attack the whole pirates. Um, gateways. We don't need gateways. We'll just do a quick tech. Energy shortage. Yeah, let's cut scientific investment just to make sure this is over as soon as possible. Zero G mining platform disrupted. I think we're coming back. Let's see how how bad is the assimilation. It's really bad on some worlds. What about what is this world? Oh, that's our capital. Yeah. Oh, our alloys have dropped to only plus 200 complete. because of that. But it's going to jump back up again once. Construction complete. Construction okay, complete. Okay, I think we're I think we're through the assimilation Attacking on all the worlds vessels. where it's actually dire to have that. Oh, we found the shroud. Construction workers. complete. Okay. So now that we have our trade routes back, we should uh we should see energy restored. Right. Well, somewhat restored. Oh man, things bad things are happening here. Oh, it's just like weirdness. Yeah, it'll it'll figure itself out. I think we have uh, survived the great assimilation crisis. Pretty, they're pretty much all done. Let's see our capital. Thirty two. Well. They're not pretty much all done, but everything is stable. How bad is crime here? Is it actually, like, to the point where I should intervene? Well, I could do this. That should, I should fix crime and just increase stability. Please, we need titans. Titans, titans. No, we don't have titans yet. Well, anyway, assimilation crisis over. Construction credits complete. Positive once again. We have completed the psionics tree, which gives us some good bonuses, mainly for the shroud, but we haven't researched that yet. It finishes in 93 months. But we have a new tradition available, and I'm not sure where to go with this one. We have invested a lot into our leader, so we could go statecraft, but we could also go harmony. Not 100% sure. We don't really need, 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 need anything else. But I'm thinking we finish it up with Harmony and Statecraft. Not even really that we need Harmony because, well, we just, we don't really need anything it offers. I mean, the stability would be nice. But then again, like I said, it would only just be nice. Leader capacity would be nice. In fact, I think I'll go down statecraft for the leader bonuses. We'll, we'll just go all in on leaders here. 
We still have yet to get the Titan technology. We can't get the Colossus, but I have a whole nother slot. I don't know any thing we really need. Something we might do, something we might do is go share destiny and uh, just gather up vassals because our military is a little bloated. Probably a lot bloated, actually. And uh, we could use some wars to justify our military budget, but then again, we don't need to do it. It would only be to justify our military budget. Of course, we could just make everyone a tributary around us, which could work. Speaking of tributaries, uh, it seems our vassal has collapsed here. Yeah, let's... I guess we will finally... We will finally take all of these systems from our silly little vassal. How many more? 38? Alright, by the time our fleets get down there, we will probably have 38. I think we just need... Let's just grab the fleets with admirals so we can give them some XP. I don't think uh, these guys have accumulated much of a fleet yet. 8,000? Yeah, that's... Vessels upgraded. That's not, uh, that's not too threatening to us. Yeah, it sucks that we do not have uh, Titan technology yet, but... Let's see. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to claim upgraded. all of these before our, before our fleet even gets there. Hmm, almost looked like they were lagging a bit. Alright. You can honestly just declare war now. We have sure declared war to save God. Make sure our they interests. don't get vassalized right after being claimed. Sometimes they do that. It can be frustrating. If they take the system right here or take Vessels upgraded. I don't know, this system, well I don't even know if they could. Technology secured. Yeah, they couldn't <laughs> they couldn't take that system if they tried, so Vessels yeah. Vessels upgraded. Take a few systems, it's not a big deal. We will destroy them. Oh, we got upgraded. mega structures. We seriously got mega structures before Titans. Okay, well, I guess we'll we'll do that. Why not? I wanted to use Vessels the Deluge. Upgraded. Well, if I invest in mega structures, it's good. That's gonna take sixty-seven months compared to if I just do something else, which will allow us just re-roll the tech. Okay, I'll do habitability because we need it, and just to re-roll the tech. Research platform I do really want Titans. I do really want the Colossus, so we can use the Deluge. Because that will just, uh, well, that will cement us as the ultimate aquatic supremacist. So we just vessels. deluge every enemy. Spaceport under attack. I wonder if we could deluge vessel production Gaia capacity minimally diminished. Oh, these guys have a habitat. Construction. What? Wait, complete. their empire capital is a habitat instead of the size thirty perfect Gaia world. Interesting. Uh, Spaceport choice. under yes. attack. Vessel production capacity violently diminished. Attacking enemy assets. Didn't stand a chance. Technology secured. They don't stand a chance. Yeah, you can see our fleet composition now. We have uh, more... Attacking enemy vessels. We have more ships, but more importantly, we have gone a little bit towards frigates for if we run into any empires with a bunch of battleship spam or whatever. Or even... You know, anything else spam, these frigates will move on in and destroy larger ships. Because Construction you know, complete. We're sticking small, we're sticking evasive for this for this playthrough. Uh, it seems like these guys don't have the don't have any fortresses that actually FPL Space inhibit. So we'll take over all their stations to make sure that they can such platform disrupted. Oh. Okay, you, you you go back and do that. Take, take care of these guys. Attacking enemy assets. Attacking oh, enemy vessels. On. Seems like they're not even taking losses though. They might they might have hit and run as well. Spaceport under attack. Let's retake our spaceports. Yeah, we're gonna have to actually uh, capture all these planets here because they're not just gonna basically admit the feet and lose everything enemy they always assets. have. They have just because we took out their fleets and stations. We are going to have to bomb the Oh! Oh hello. Hello, Titans, finally. Space well we're not gonna have it by the end attack. of this war and we'll be able to test it out on Zion, but we will we will have it. Attacking enemy assets. You know, in fact we could wait. 
Attacking enemy like, vessels. Peace out and then wait 10 years and we'll have the Colossus. Lord Chancellor Reginald Fairfax has died. Well, that's not good. Of course, he will get a wonderful statue. Uh, I guess we'll let this guy be the Lord Chancellor. Yeah. He's aquatic enough. He can be on the council. Looks aquatic enough. Alright, it looks like, uh... Looks like they ain't got much left. Yeah, these habitats, I, I, I've decided not to flood the habitats. I might even... I might even evacuate this habitat, depending on how Attacking poor it really vessels. is. I'm probably definitely going to evacuate this habitat because it's just, dude. Every time, every time I declare a war, dude, the uh, the space storm likes to come out. But sorry, right, we've already won this war, basically. Low stability, really. But we don't have any administrators. Well, that that explains it. Are a soldier, you'll do a good job as police officer, administrator, whatever. Please do the jobs, thank you. There you Attacking go. enemy vessels. All fixed. Yeah, they're desperately Space throwing everything they have attack. to get us to stop bombing their well, not their Attacking capital. I don't, I don't know vessels. why this isn't their capital, but it isn't. Actually, we could go. We could go quickly bomb that, because it doesn't even have armies. Yep. The capital is taken. Yeah, but we're gonna have to uh, bomb them down to the last Space army boot before under they attack. surrender, so... I will do that, and then I will sort out these worlds. I will probably get rid of the habitats. I haven't even flooded our old habitats, and... Honestly, I could be justified. They are useful. This one especially. We have plenty of technician jobs here, and we already have 200 energy coming from this place, so... You know, in fact, I will flood it. I don't... I don't really think that does much. It's still gonna make Space the habitat under attack. not very habitable. And they're still gonna produce practically nothing, but... I mean, the, the production bonuses Space will go under away. Attack. Or at least the ones that come from not Attacking being on a wet world. Vessels. But, uh... The habitability bonuses Space boot completely under go attack. away, which is unfortunate. It'll Attacking never be as good as the ocean vessels. world, but at least we can make it slightly better for what it is. And what it is is a good jet or good reactor world. Most of these guys are just slight anyway, so it doesn't truly matter, but... I've never flooded a habitat before, so let's do it. These guys are embracing soulless technology. That is definitely an affront to nature. Space boot under attack. Let's see how well our empire has it's converted to spiritualist. I have a lot of stations, huh? Um. Wow. Okay. We pretty much have all the factions that we like. Okay. Yeah. We're. Well, we can't. Can't please everybody. But uh, yeah, we represented on the council. Yeah, I think this is a very good faction screen, especially considering the disgustingly ugly one we had not too long ago. With xenophiles and maybe even some egalitarians. I don't think we've ever had egalitarians, but it seems like the xenophobes are completely gone from our empire. For better or for worse. So we have conquered this place and made it into our newest sector, but more interestingly... It seems that the aquatic species is working just fine on, uh, yeah, on the Gaia world. So I wonder if that means they will work just fine on Ecumenopolis. Ecumenopoli, whatever you want to call it. These things will balance out, but we can convert this into a resource world as well. And I've abandoned this habitat. I mean, it was just not... It's just not worth it. Damn, we have a lot of alloys. Yeah, I'll have to get to spending them. Well, I'll spend some right here, right now. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of this station. It's not useful at all. Let's convert... Oops. Convert this place into... Oops. <laughs> uh, into a nice little... 
Anchorage and wow, all of our uh, pretty okay. Every single one of our fleets needs to be upgraded. So yeah, like I said earlier, the little trick. I'm gonna mm -hmm. select all of them from the system and then, or I suppose you could. Uh, oh, uh, never mind. Yeah, you select all of them and then press upgrade. It's quicker than scrolling through each and pressing upgrade fleet, but. Yeah, looks like we could maybe do... I mean, we can definitely Vessels do Gaia upgraded. Worlds. And we might also Technology be able to do Economicus. If we do... If we can, then our capital is going to go from... Well, ridiculously good to... Even more ridiculously good. Yeah, 738 alloys just from the capital alone. And 2341, it's not... We're not too late into the game. Our old capital is also looking good, looking better than it was before, so, yeah, making this not the capital anymore, or making our home world not the capital anymore, has given it more freedom to do what it needs to do, which is currently be our pretty much, pretty much sole source of tech. I, I think I have one other world. That has some tech, but yeah, pretty much 90% of our tech comes from here. Our wonderful ally, the Plague Baron Regime, seem to have a pretty potent rebellion on their hands. I underestimated it at first, I only sent one of my fleets, but in fact, one of my fleets cannot defeat one of theirs, crazy enough. So, yeah, they have taken. This whole wing, this whole spiral wing of the galaxy, currently. My other Technology two main fleets secured. are on the way, as well. So we will crush them. But Rocket there's cleared. something else we are working on. Colossus, Colossal Assembly Yards. And that is going to be making, yes, the Deluge Machine. The Vengeful Class Colossus. You know what time it is. But uh, first, I gotta take care of this silly rebellion. Well, first I need to build the Colossal Assembly Yards, then build the Colossus, but then, then you know what time it is. Potentially, it could be time for a little bit of uh, becoming the Crisis Action. I haven't quite decided yet, but I don't know if we're gonna go down the full Crisis Path or just, you know go down the crisis path enough to get some nice effects we certainly don't need any help when it comes to construction complete. building our fleet we have plenty of fleet power and plenty of alloys to make more fleet power blocker cleared currently is all of our fleets still headed no you oops I, I didn't mean okay you need to come down here. This this wormhole is helping us out. Helping us uh, fight our ally after all, so or fight for our ally. Not not fight our ally. Not not yet. Yeah, these guys aren't aquatic, so we will I don't feel too bad about crushing the rebellion. It gives our uh, our admiral some XP. Allows our ally to stay strong. I don't know how far into the crisis line we can go before our ally complete. abandons us and everyone else in the galaxy abandons us as well. But uh, we will see. Yeah, the crisis isn't. Uh, I'm not going to go crisis just yet. But as soon as I build the Colossus. 30 more days until we can start building the Colossus. As soon as I build the Colossus and. Well, use it enough that everyone hates me in the entire galaxy. And I've burned every bridge anyway, and then I might as well become the Crisis. What I will do as the Crisis? Well, you'll just have to stay Rocket tuned cleared. and find out, I suppose. But uh, if I'm being serious, I don't know yet. <laughs> Special project complete. Um. The end of the cycle. Hmm. Our telepaths speak. It is not our time yet, but it could be. Um, Starbase capacity plus 10. 
monthly influence plus five, enable capacity plus 100%. Wait, is that as crazy as it sounds? Resources from jobs plus 100%. Resources from. Wait. Nothing more is said, but a bargain has been offered. We know that much power, knowledge, and wealth is beyond measure for the taking. Okay. Um. 50 years. It's kind of giving us a time limit here. 50 years, which is. Uh, a little bit suspicious. But we, we could really do some damage in 50 years. You know what? In fact, I am going to do it. Because the only thing that got us into this religion in the first place was the chaos and destruction gods from our past. So I think we have finally met them. presence it has always been waiting for us our telepaths suddenly speak in unison a dozen voice it is not yet your time but it could be hmm okay let's do it it is done we have formed the covenant with the end of the cycle as we took its bargain a mere two words were spoken 50 years then silence as we are left to contemplate the future consequences of what we have just brought ourselves may the spirits have mercy on us all well, we have 50 years. Holy... Holy hell. Wow. Well... We have 50 years, gentlemen. I would say and ladies, but I checked the channel demographics and it is 100% male, so... We have, uh... <laughs> we have, uh... We have our time limit, gentlemen. I suppose we can... Just spam more fleets out, why not? The end of the cycle is coming for us anyway. How long until our Colossus is done? You know, we might we might actually just want to become the Crisis now, start building it up. In fact, why not? It seems like we're going all in on our... Uh... For a long time, the Kins have known that we were meant for greater things. Let's see if we can become gods before the end of the cycle ends us it is our destiny indeed it is the destiny of all communications. aquatics to rule the galaxy on beautiful ocean worlds it is only right it is only just it just makes sense only aquatics were built for dominion okay we have finished that uh, where is our where is our one scientist? He's here. Let's go uh, figure out the site on that world before I colonize it. I've yet to colonize this world because actually I think I do have a colony ship set up, but it's just so far backed up in our in our ships. Our ships can't even be upgraded because we have just so many ships yet to be built, which is why I'm building a second shipyard. But even then, it's not it's not going to be too helpful we could use the mega shipyard and we are doing mega structures right now so we, the first thing I think we'll do is the mega shipyard but until then we are a little bit hung up on our shipbuilding capacity but otherwise we have just gained more power than we know what to do with frankly we have found a new renowned paragon and this guy definitely looks aquatic this guy is an aquatic I don't know what is and he's a governor with an iron fist yeah uh, you are hired buddy I am a humble servant and will do everything to satisfy your wishes oh glorious empire that is just what I like to be hearing I mean truly just what I like to be hearing we could actually use some more entertainment oh no we just we're just not doing it Oh, whatever. Either way, I'm sure you'll fix your factory world. Definitely not a factory world. If anything, this is a generator world. But, by gods, we don't even need anything like that. Let's see what we get from the shroud. Increased influence? Wow, we're going to have so much influence. Anyway, yeah. Attacking enemy assets. Oh, hello. 
Oh, I thought I was attacking Blur for a second. Oh, allies. That is not enough to take him out, my my dear friends. That wasn't even enough, even enough to take out the station. Luckily, I am here for you. Hopefully Attacking this will be enough. Assets. They are a bunch of battleships, so hopefully we can hard counter them. Oh man, these guys are these guys are doing mega structures before I am. Okay, well, good for you. Yeah, it seems like as soon as we got on top of them, it uh, it turned the tide of the battle pretty handedly. Let's start to clean up. Construction complete. Clean up our uh, allies' mess here. Secured. Are these all frigates? Attacking enemy assets. An entire fleet of frigates. Interesting. Construction Did I? complete. Oh, I accidentally skipped the battle report. I don't think complete. we lost too many things. Oh, maybe we did. Construction complete. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need a mega shipyard, hundred percent, because we're we're rocking a lot of small ships. So while that's not like a terrible move, like just absolutely throwing, it is uh, it is gonna mean we're gonna need a lot of reinforcements all the time, which we can afford. We can afford, and we we're gonna be able to afford even more in the future. Now that I have so many resources, and we don't even have a Dyson Sphere or the Matter Decompressor yet, I mean, we can just go crazy into industrialization. I think, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to change change some of these worlds into industrial worlds. And all the all the worlds that I'm colonizing currently, well, I, I am colonizing these worlds, but the colony ship is so down, so far down into the queue. It's just... Where is the colony? Can I even find it? Yeah, I, I can't even... Well, we'll figure it out. But yeah, this uh, this war here, I mean, it's not like we care so attacking much about our allies. I mean, we really don't. But attacking ships and destroying them is giving us... Blocker cleared. Basically for... Oh, no. Yeah, free crisis. Construction free menace, complete. Which we will take. Free menace and free XP. Yeah, we handedly uh, destroyed that fleet that time. Construction Let's see the complete. true nature of the destruction. A good amount. Actually, we kind of lost more. But then again, they're, they're losing battleships and we're losing like one corvette and two frigates. Frigates. Oh, we lost a battleship too. Yeah, this, this fight wasn't free by any means. It was not free. But like I said, we are we are upgrading our admirals here by doing this. Okay, let's start bombing. So how much uh, how much menace did that give us? Yeah, that gave us nearly 200 menace. So it, it is worth it. I mean, it's basically free menace. We're getting menace, and we're not like destroying Attacking nations to the point vessels. where everyone hates us. Yeah, anyway. We have so many consumer goods. I, I might... This is a factory world? No, it is not. Why are you saying factory world? This is an agri world if I've ever seen one. You have one factory. One. Um, but anyway. Port Hubert. We might... Yeah, we might be switching this to... Actually, we are going to be switching this to a forge world. We'll, we'll disable this for now. Uh, I left a lot of people out of jobs. Oh, no, only one person Technology out of jobs. secured. Um, where is our other industrial places? Gordon. Yeah, this can be a forge world as well. Uh, where does that leave us in terms of consumer goods? Still plus and a, a ridiculous amount, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this works out. So yeah, we're just going to go full forge 2k... 2k alloys enough to take on the whole galaxy with just small ships maybe not but certainly is blocker cleared a lot of ships attacking enemy vessels okay so how much menace are we gaining from like bombing these worlds and stuff such not too much but not nothing either construction system complete. three worlds 
Okay. Those worlds didn't have any armies. So we have their entire empire. Yeah. All right, there you go. Time to go back and upgrade. This is the, no. Yeah, we'll upgrade here. This, the shipyard has less. Do we have our Colossus built yet? No. no that's gonna take a while. But once the Colossus is built, then we can really start. And another one. I think I'm falling behind when it comes to mega structures. But then again, only one month away, so. I'm not sure which one I would build first. Technology secured. Alright, we have mega structures now. Um I really kinda wanted you to be okay, I'll just do this just so the research takes over and we have a chance of getting the mega shipyard. I'm pretty sure the mega shipyard is uh we are researching dangerous tech, but that's fine. Construction complete. What's not fine is we're not even gonna be able to have the ship shipyard capacity to upgrade these Locker ships. Cleared. We haven't been up been been able to upgrade our ships secured. for a long time anyway. Quantum catapult. I guess we'll figure out the science nexus. No, still no mega shipyard. I would like a mega shipyard, please. What is the shortest research we have here? Sure. Four months. Construction complete. All right. Please, mega shipyard. Okay, hopefully I'll get the mega shipyard. I gotta go manage my stations here. Yeah, I gotta manage these stations and these fleets. So I'll do that, and hopefully we get the mega shipyard. And hopefully we can get this, oops, this Colossus built. So we can really start our oceanic domination of the galaxy. So our fleets, while our designs are really backwards, we, we cannot we simply do not have the capacity, the shipyard capacity, to upgrade our fleets. So I've just sent a good portion of them, probably about a fourth of my fleets, maybe less, to go and just cause chaos while we can, you know, before, well, as the shroud mark thing puts it, uh, something very bad is going to happen. So before that happens, I'm going to make sure that we do as much as we can to establish our name and establish the aquatic supremacy that our empire stands for. So I will be declaring war against these guys. Um, what shall I be declaring war for? That is the question. Um, I think we will bring them into the fold. I think that sounds about better than wipe them out we have declared war to safeguard yeah, we will be bringing them into the fold we we have unfortunately do not even have the shipyard capacity to reinforce our fleets when they are damaged Attacking as well so enemy assets. that is another unfortunate reality Construction of complete. just what we're dealing with here um since yeah let's just make sure that Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's just make sure that our... Yeah, we'll, we'll leave some ships there and make sure that this is primarily where we have our stuff. Have all of our admirals in one place. We... Yeah, we, we couldn't defend against them if they attacked. These ARA are not, not doing bad. Of course, they are on a little bit more than... Their normal strength um i guess we'll do this yeah i'm building up i'm building up uh more than one shipyard right now so hopefully hopefully we will eventually be able to make up for our areas in which we're lacking um we have uh, i have to set all these bombardment stances to the right ones let's see Let's just do that real quick. Technology secured. All right, let's let's go here and attack that. Technology secured. In fact, we should probably just jump in and 
Take out as much as when it comes to fleet power. Oh, it seems like we're already fighting a fleet. The first wave. <laughs> an an uh, aptly named fleet. Uh, this is a little bit much. Of course, we are going to win. Attacking but enemy assets. We're going to be taking losses. Minister of Defense stepped down to become an educator. Um, this is absolutely not the time nor the place to do that, my friend. But okay. Technology secure. They are sure giving us hell for this. Are we or not are we actually not gonna win? We're actually not gonna win this. Huh. Well it looks like our quirky little fleet of uh small ships is not it's not very effective. Well, it was very effective here. Huh. No, it wasn't. Our, our ship, our fleet designs are are lacking. It seems. Yeah, we just took incredible losses. Why they didn't lose anything, even with our evasion and our. Huh. And why? I don't I don't really understand why this happened though. Hmm. Hit and run. Yeah, disengagement opportunities. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think we outnumbered them. I guess they're just... I guess our fleets are not very effective. Which... is actually really, really bad because... I cannot currently upgrade them. Our shipyards are all full. They're all full. Yeah, I guess this ship class really doesn't make much sense. What's the cooldown here? 31? Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's not... That's not at all good. Um. Yeah. I really don't know much what to say about that. Attacking enemy vessels. Huh. Well, we have a lot of things to figure out here. Um. Disruptors? Hmm. That might save us. Actually. Thinking about it. Let's do Citadel of Faith. And... Wait, we didn't have mega shipyards, right? Because uh, we're going to need them more than I thought. No? Welp. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, well, I just activated that and I didn't need to. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. Our shipyards are still... Technology secured. Still full. I don't really know what to do about all this, to be honest. Our ship designs are terrible. We can't upgrade them. Mm, things aren't looking too good. I guess we'll send what we can into this war. Doesn't really matter if we lose a lot. Construction complete. I mean, we're full on everything. We have a countdown of 50 years. What, what did that even give us in, in the way of menace? Not too much. Technology secure. Yeah, this is just overall not looking good at all. They surrendered? Okay. Apparently we didn't capture the planets here. Construction complete. Vessels upgraded.
spaceport under attack. Just go. Technology up secured. Or do whatever. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, this is not looking good. Just, just really not looking good. We'll do one more Station battle with under them. Attack. See how badly we lose if we lose it, and uh, reevaluate from there if it's even worth continuing this war. We are jumping in right now, and we're having our second major battle with them. Of course, we do outnumber them, you know, military power-wise by quite a good amount. And theoretically, we should be countering them with our frigates and our attacking enemy vessels. Missiles, but okay, well, let's see. Uh, we took out one cruiser and lost eight frigates and six corvettes, and a frigate and a corvette and six more frigates and four more frigates. Wow, I've I have never played with frigates before, and uh, they are not impressing me. I gotta say. <laughs> I mean, fair is fair when it comes to our our fleet not being fully healed. So that was a little bit. Right, let's Attacking see how we, enemy we assets. Could do on this one. This one we far far outnumber. Attacking enemy vessels. Our guys here. Wow, we lost we lost all these ships just to nothing, and they didn't lose anything apparently. That's uh, so unfortunate. And another case of us losing very many ships when they lost nothing. Wow. Yeah. Our fleet design is not any good. Savage hordes touching down. I don't really know what... Where am I being invaded? What the hell? Oh. They're taking back their systems. Yeah, I, I absolutely don't really know what to do about all this. Yeah, whenever you're done. We have our Colossus. So that's good, at the very least. I can't even... Actually, I do need to upgrade this. I'm guessing that's at the bottom of the list. Yeah, that needs to be at the top. Sphere of influence expanded. Yeah. We, uh, we lose so many ships. Yeah, 30,000 just... Down the drain. This is not. Uh, secured. This is not good fleet design. Apparently, I don't normally go for small ships and evasion and zero G research platform disrupted. Like and, uh, well, it seems like I wasn't missing out on much. Vessels upgraded. Colony claimed by the enemy. All right, let's let's go into battle once again. This should be perfect because we'll just be right on top of them. They'll have no range on us. Attacking enemy vessels. And we overwhelm them to a such a degree that it's ridiculous. But let's see the fleet report. No, nope, the battle's not over technically. Vessels upgraded. Um, we took out one cruiser and lost. A whole bunch of ships. Yeah, this is absolutely absolutely terrible. Technology secured. Absolutely terrible. Spaceport under attack. I'm not even sure we can win this. Vessel production capacity we're going in anyway. diminished. All Attacking nothing, enemy not? assets. Sphere of influence expanded. Attacking enemy it vessels. It takes us so long to get on top of them, which we need to do to kill them. And even then, when we get on top of them, we don't kill them, so... Yeah, they lost six Corvettes, and we lost about the same. And then for this battle, they lost practically nothing, and we lost a lot. Yeah, this is, uh... I think I'm learning my lesson here. Let's bomb this world into oblivion again. And again, they're, uh... They're not totally, totally happy with their results, because of course they are still losing. Does this have a jump drive? Yeah, it does have a jump drive, so we can get our Colossus out if need be. Let's go back and claim this. 
once again. All these ships, we can start bombing this. I know these ships don't have a. Uh, yeah, they don't. Construction have complete. Correct orbital bombardment. We also need to heal, lest we lose even more ships in the next battle. I'll let them bomb this into dust before healing. Um, you're currently maxed out on a whole bunch of different things right now. Not alloys, but a bunch of different things. Unified focus is good. Uh, no mega shipyard. We'll take war exhaustion. A reduction in war exhaustion might be, uh, might be necessary. Yeah, we don't Attacking really enemy assets. Okay, they surrendered. Let's go heal. It's gonna be very important. Unless they just one shot us. Okay, they are gonna come for us. Attacking enemy assets. They're even vessels. less healed up than we are. Council agenda available. Construction. Man, we complete. just cannot finish the job. We didn't lose as many ships, but still lost more than them. Even though we're like way more efficient when it comes to damage, I guess just this is the nature of small ships. This is the nature of small ship battles? I don't know. I guess. Okay, we can just tell these ships to follow this guy. And this guy can go right to the rancid nursery. This is their capital. It's not their home world. This Station empire used to be. Attack. Well, this empire. Vessel production this is their capacity here. violently diminished. So we're not drenching their home world, but we are going to be drenching their capital. Are we healing? I hope we're healing, right? We're doing the smart thing and healing. Spaceport under attack. All right, that's we're healed up enough. Attacking sure. enemy vessels. Yeah, all these, all these fleets. Attacking are enemy upgraded. assets. Are our shipyards still full? Our shipyards are still completely full up. We're maxed out on everything. It's a very interesting position we're in. We just don't have. We just don't have the shipyards to produce as much ships as we need. You know, I'll, I'll upgrade this and turn this into a shipyard too. Why not? In fact, I could even just start converting our stations that we already don't have as shipyards into shipyards. I mean, at this point, there's no reason not to. I can tell we just lost more ships. I already clicked away from the battle results though, so I can't really see for certain. They are surrendering. Let's heal. Actually, we don't need to heal. We can push forward. It doesn't really matter. We are maxed out on alloys, so Technology replacing our fleets is not, this is not an issue. What does the shroud give us this time? Increased evasion, sure. Plus 30% evasion. Let's see if that helps us any. Let's see if that helps us any. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that it won't? Attacking enemy assets. So I would be fine with losing a bunch of small ships every time if we just... If we A, didn't lose battles, and B, didn't, uh... You know, not even take out their small ships in, in battles. Like it's just, it feels like we're doing Technology secure. something wrong. It feels like we're being Space Omega punished. Under attack. Okay, well, we're not dealing with, we're not bombing that 700 planet down. You're going to finish these fleets off. Hopefully we don't take too many losses in doing so. Attacking enemy vessels. No, those guys were secured. not even healed up for some reason, so it worked out pretty well. 
even even with that being so lopsided, Technology it's crazy. Secured. We still lost about just as many ships as they did, which is well, whatever. We have the economy to back it up, I guess. Still not close to giving up. If I uh, deluge a couple of their worlds, I think they will be. Okay, our menace is uh, practically there. Actually, it is there. Has first com has first completed the become the crisis. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's do that. Spaceport under attack. Wait. Okay, no, that's not special gonna project work. complete. The investigation into the phenomenon now critically known as the Great Prospect has concluded. Okay, it appears there's some kind of hidden layer to the universe. Yeah, we already know about the shroud. The shroud giveth and the shroud taketh. We see where the Imperium will not be denied. The impressive effects of our unity is undeniable. What chance does a galaxy full of different opinions and random resource distribution and clashing interests have against the concord of the will of the Seaworthy Imperium? This is the way. Zero G this research is the way. platform disrupted. Let's get rid of some of these notifications. Like, yeah, of course we're getting reinforcements. That's our whole battle strategy. It's just overwhelming them with reinforcements currently. Which we can do even more once we have the ships that are built entirely of minerals. Do we have that yet? Let's see. Yeah, we have menacing corvettes. Uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll eventually have... Uh, oh, ship build speed plus 50%. Yeah, we uh, we need that. 2,000 menace. Yeah, we're close to 2,000 menace. Yeah, we could, we could really, Space we could really use 2,000 menace. Encountered. I'm not gonna lie. Savage hordes touching down. Technology secured. Uh, we don't really Attacking need enemy vessels. Construction complete. Alright, Mr. Deluge. You know what your plan is, right? Attacking enemy assets. Yes. Colony claimed the by the enemy. Vessels upgraded. Charging weapon. Station under attack. Spaceport under attack. Vessel production capacity violently diminished. Alright, let's see it in this glory. Spaceport under attack. <laughs> Their stupid Gaia world turned into a beautiful blue ocean world. I think that was Gaia world, anyway. Planet drenched. As the column of water descending from the SI Thunderer dissipates, the surface of the rancid nursery is wholly transformed. Of course. 13 times. <laughs> An empty ocean world. Just how we like it. Alright, well. Savage wards touching down. Uh, we lost an invasion. Okay. Not really too worried. Technology secured. We're taking the capital. They should be uh, close to capitulating. Attacking no? enemy assets. No, not really. They don't care Technology too much. Technology secured. Which is fine with me. We're just gaining menace the more this war goes on. Our shipyards are still clogged up. Oh, we are finally getting things upgraded, though. Which is nice. Uh, no. Yeah, no. Spaceport under attack. Savage hordes Actually, touching down. Once I drench this planet, I might just jump over. Oh, 
this, this planet is conquered. Okay, well, let's, vessels upgraded. let's destroy these vessels that are being very annoying. Spaceport under attack. Attacking enemy assets. Technology secured. We've drenched another planet. Yeah, that used to be a Gaia world. <laughs> we are turning these Gaia worlds into uh, ocean worlds. They thought they had per perfection, but definitely not. You know, in fact, I will jump. Uh, I will jump this guy over. Colony claimed by the enemy. Hopefully, once we start drenching the worlds of the primary war target, they'll be more more happy to capitulate. And it has successfully jumped over, so... Target must be an ha habitable, non-artificial planet. Oh. Okay. Um. How big is this world? Pretty big. I'm sure they will not be happy about losing that one. Attacking enemy assets. Vessels upgraded. Spaceport under attack. Technology secured. What about this one? Hmm. They might not mind as much losing that one. Even Attacking enemy vessels. Why can I not click? Please let me click. Invasion failed. Sure, whatever. Where's our Colossus? Vessels upgraded. Hurry up, dude. We got a war to win. Are we bombing? Vessels upgraded. We bombing? Okay, well, I'm sure a few more drenches and these guys will capitulate. Then we can reassess our situation when it comes to our ships. We might switch over to something else, or just update our design and go from there, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure. It seems like our, our stations are in better shape to do upgrades now. I'm doing the upgrade thing individually now because we have different stations. That Vessels could, upgraded. I could all upgrade. Promising officer. Actually, very helpful right now. Which one of you wants to have a leader? You? Congratulations. In fact, we'll give another one of you a leader as well. Um, fleet command limit, minus 10%. That is, that is so stupid, but sure, why not? Because we're not at our fleet command limit. Space In under faith attack. lies victory. I don't know what these people are upset about, but... Uh, no, we will not be bullied. Attacking enemy vessels. Not even a little bit. Spaceport under attack. Uh, Speaker of the Kin resigned to pursue more artistic endeavors. What? Come on now. Whatever. Another admiral for us, I guess. Uh. Trickster. Well, <laughs> we we have an empire of tricksters, and it's not very good. But you know, maybe you'll help out. Okay, we have we have uh, oceanified that world. They're still not capitulating, which is strange. You'd think after their worlds are all getting oceanified by the superior aquatic beings, they'd realize they are no match. For anything aquatic, but it's okay. We'll uh, we'll keep teaching them. That's not a planet. We need only planets. It's a shame we can't dredge drench habitats because, well, we should be able to do that. I mean, we we can drench ha or we can fill habitats with water. So why not? Construction why not complete. <laughs> Uh, we can't drench that either. Oh, we can. That is a world. Yeah, let's go do that. Open council position. Who wants to be a speaker of the kin? Uh, you do. It is time.
It is time to make sure you regret ever stepping on land as a species. Look at these guys. Absolutely ridiculous. Walking around on land like you own the place. We need to heal this. But first, Attacking we need to make vessels. this very dry world into a very wet world to the dismay of our enemies. Vessels upgraded. Spaceport under attack. Charging weapon. Firing vessels our water down. We have so many notifications. Ugh. But yes. Goodbye, desert. Hello, beautiful blue ocean. Just how things should be. Hmm. Can't drench the habitats. Where is another world? Oh, a world. Let's see. A desert world. No. No, that's not. That's just not natural, is it? Nuclear escalation. Uh, yeah, I don't really care. Rip Bozo, am I right? <laughs> Awareness Space decreased. Oh, they attack. lived! Some of them lived. Back in the Stone complete. Age, though. <laughs> they're, they're, well, rip. I don't really care. How's our menace looking? Okay, we gotta research become the crisis again. Is this going to make everyone declare war on us? No. Nope. Okay. Not that I really care. It would be unfortunate. But... At this point, we're just set out to prove the superiority of aquatics. And I think we are doing just that. Not our aquatic fleet design, though. That, that is for sure. What, uh, what... What? what? Attacking I, enemy assets. What? Am I not understanding something? Why are you, uh... Why are you in charge of, like, nothing? Why are you king of nothing? I don't know why there's a one crew, one destroyer fleet or whatever. Okay, I might as well just uh, pick something here because it popping up is getting annoying. Uh, we will do harmony. Council agenda sure, available. why not? Special yes. project complete. Well of power. Excellent news. And that gives us... Menacing destroyers, yes. We already have many menacing uh, corvettes on the way. Let's see. Yeah, we just have hundreds of them being built. Let's, let's see what we can do with menacing cor uh, cruisers. No, let's not do that. Um, missiles. Yeah, we can do a multi-roll. More missiles. Um, more missiles. And black guardian. Sure, why not? No, I want, I want you to be fast and evasive. Picket is fine, I guess. Well, no, we should, we should just set them to torpedo. Why not? Just go right up in there. To arrogant class. All right, let's create a new fleet. Have it basically just be menacing destroyers. Actually, not basically. Yeah, we will have it be menacing destroyers only. Attacking in vessels. Years goes by, and yet fires in each kin burn. Go forth and conquer. Technology secured. Spaceport under attack. Are these guys... First of all, these guys have been in many f fights. They should heal. Attacking enemy vessels. They are firing weapon. Oh, don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it. Say goodbye. Spaceport under attack. Desert dryness. Even if they just taste the ocean for a second before they die, it's still better than everything they've done in their life. Mm, is this a world? No, it is not a world. We're running out of worlds here. 
No, no, don't, don't, don't jump. Don't jump. Uh, is, is there a world in this system? No. Wait, is this the system I just checked? Hmm. Pre-FTL is not, but we can't drench a FTL, not in our borders. Pre-FTL. All right, let's go here so that we can go over here. Space I'm surprised they attack. haven't given up yet, considering we, uh... Attacking enemy vessels. Well... We have, we, we're doing what we're doing to them. I would give up, personally. Space we're gonna be bombing under attack. Their, their knight's habitat here. Attacking enemy assets. This is a cool little icon for the knights. Okay. Attacking enemy vessels. Now can we? Yes, there's a world. Spaceboat under attack. A big world too. Zero G research well, they are platform gonna, disrupted. We're gonna learn today why settling on the land, on a dry land, extra dry desert land. Yeah, but they're gonna learn today why that is a bad idea. Technology. Seems like our ships are slightly getting better in battle. These guys have lost more than we have lost for the first time in forever. And uh, well, let's see if that happens again. Well, it definitely should. These guys are not even healed. I don't know what they've been doing sitting there the whole time. Technology secured. Care. Goodbye, thin mold. Is this guy next up? Nope, that is a habitat. You have lucked out today. Is there a world here? The target is already an ocean world. Hmm. It looks like your lives will be spared. How lucky for you. You're still going to get bombed, but... Wait, were those humans? Superhuman. Survivor of a tomb world. Where is Soul? I have, I have not seen it this playthrough yet. Soul is there. Hmm. I'm guessing it's a tomb world, huh? Yeah. Only eight pops. Even Mars is more populated. Oh, that's because it's an ocean world. <laughs> Should have known. Should have known. Should have known the ocean people always win. Let's see, how close? They are close. They definitely should be at this point. They've kind of lost a lot of their core worlds. We found another group of wise ocean world enjoyers in this soon to be crumbling empire. Spaceboat under attack. And I assume once we take it, and maybe take this as well, they will capitulate. We're only nine secured. away. I'm not sure what they're doing. I think we whittled them down to the point where they can't maintain attacking us. Which is funny Space because like, under attack. whenever we attack them, if anything, we were just whittling ourselves down. But we have so many resources, it's just... An interstellar assembly. We don't need an interstellar assembly. We need... Next districts. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, we need a... Attacking need enemy like a assets. Guard. Don't mind. Are these another ocean world enjoyers? No, it's a desert world. Well, we might have to bring out the deluge again. No, still, still don't, still don't want to give it to us. Attacking enemy vessels. No matter how many of their ships Attacking we destroy, enemy no matter assets. how many of their planets we bomb into nothing. These guys are holding out, and I respect Space that. Spaceport under attack. No, we don't need to do that. Attacking enemy vessels. I think we'll just uh, bomb this planet into nothing, because if we just deluge it, then we're not gaining occupation, which is the only thing holding us back. Relative naval strength secured. is maxed. War exhaustion is, of course, maxed. Uh, yeah, occupation is the only thing holding us back at this point, so we are going to need to stop on the whole drenching just for now. Yeah, that, that was so quick. Gaining that world was so quick. Um... Okay, I guess we'll go to here and then here. And then maybe they'll give it to us. Attacking enemy assets. 
Yeah, I assume. Council agenda ready. That'll be good enough. Uh, paper construction society, complete. What do, what do you have for us? No, absolutely not. Inner stability, leadership conditioning. Well, definitely leadership conditioning. Uh, society focus. Hmm. Mind focus, why not? Prudence. What does that do? Ship weapons range. That's not very helpful. And you're probably eventually going to be our Minister of Defense, so... Yeah, we'll do Trickster. Attacking enemy assets. We should do incredible damage to stations at this point with our perks and our torpedoes and everything else. Yeah. Please tell me we didn't lose. Wow, we lost four confess. <laughs> we just can't stop losing ships. It doesn't matter, we're always maxed out on everything anyway. And I would build just more fleets just to make up for it, but we don't really need to, as no one in the galaxy Attacking can enemy assets. really do much about our fleets, and we'd go negative on energy credits. So, Technology secured. overall not really important. Yeah, as soon as we take that planet, we Attacking will be... Enemy assets. Maybe even before then, we will be fine. Attacking enemy vessels. Oh, yep, before then. I'll, I'll let them grovel to us. I won't send them the offer. You send me offer the offer, bozos. Alright. Well, our block has expanded. And, uh... Has our crisis reached the level? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, just barely. Um... I'm not... I, I think this might be the point where... They declare war on us, maybe? No, I think this is the point. Exist Galactic Nemesis. Hmm. I, I'm not sure what point we're going to get kicked out of the galax galactic community and get declared war on and everything, but... Fuck it, why not? We only have 50 years, and I don't know how many of those 50 years we've already spent. Uh, we might immediately go after these guys next. Do they have any allies? No. In fact, we have allies that would go to war with us. Okay. Um, where's the entry point to their empire? Yeah, let's just keep this destruction train going. You guys to here. Actually, we should heal first, just to not be silly. Yeah, heal. And then this destruction key train keeps on rolling. You're an engineer now. Alright, there is no longer any doubt that the very act of expanding our empire is infused with the strained energies of the Shroud. Energies that boost and have bone mind and matter to reality. We will accomplish this. Um, a great change is coming. The Seaworthy Imperium is on the verge of realizing our supreme goal. Each and every kin feel it with every fiber of their, fiber of their being. Our destiny is at hand. Surely those who dare to stand against us must see the futility of their whimpering efforts. Of course. We have uh, cruisers now. Let's, let's let's figure that out. Menacing Corvettes. Let's delete the auto. Menacing cruisers. Hmm. Let's do something along the lines of plasma. And then the rest missiles. For funsies. Of course we're gonna have reactor boosters, jump drives. Yes, line, that's fine. Alright. Let's make a new fleet. Menacing Corvette or cruisers, I mean. Let's make three fleets. Why not? And then reinforce our fleets that are missing. We should probably make some regular fleets as well. Even though this is not any good. Um, I guess we'll just... Yeah, we'll just do more battleships. Why not? There you go. 
we're gonna be uh, pretty negative in energy credits, but I mean we're just full up on everything else all the time, so it doesn't really even matter. The shroud. What do you want, shroud? Yeah, we'll linger for a while. <gasps> Side jump drives. Okay, we take those. All right, let's get our forces prepared here. Technology secured. I mean, we could just wipe them out, but that means we're going to be at war with them forever. And I kind of want to just keep going. I want the whole galaxy to know why and how Technology secured. aquatics are superior. They all need to see the deluge. No, I don't. I don't care about that. All right, time we to bring you into the war to see What do you say about interest. that? The end of our nation. Yeah, you always say that. You always say that, you fools. Oh, these guys didn't get healed. I thought I healed them. Technology secured. Oh, whatever. Attacking Let's enemy get some more assets. ships. Some more fleets. I mean, they're just sitting here. There's so many just sitting here. Yeah, we'll just gather all those, all those nice little friends up. Have them join our crusade. This is a habitat, right? No. Nope. Yep. No. No day losing a habitat. Attacking enemy assets. Is this a robot? Technology secured. Where are you guys going? Oh yeah, I see you guys to go. Uh... Wow, these this this fleet is much faster than the rest of the fleets. It's because it's all menacing corvettes. Whoa, what's going on here? A big battle. Are we gonna win it? It's looking like no, we are not. Oh whoa whoa! whoa. Vessels destroyed. Oh, our admiral died. It's unfortunate. All right, well, time to uh, rethink our strategy here. That is okay. In fact, yeah, why don't you join them? Why don't you join these guys? Or no, not not this fleet. Oh, I messed it up. Yeah, we'll we'll have everyone here, and everyone here, and this fleet too. Why not? We'll have them all go and meet our friends in battle. Seems like I've underestimated them again. Which is fine. Those those fleets that all retreated, they needed to come back and Space life form be upgraded anyway. And healed and everything else. So it works out. It's not a big deal. Increased increased benefits, sure. I've turned all of our factory worlds into forge worlds and we still have so many consumer goods just because we're aquatic. Um yeah, let's We have declared war to this. safeguard our interests. Just, just to prove that we don't care that we lost Attacking all those enemy assets. ships and fleets at that one battle, we're gonna declare a simultaneous war somewhere else. Just to really prove that that does not bother us, that our Technology ego is, secured. is unharmed. Sure, benefits, why not? Who cares? We only have 50 years anyway. Okay, so these fleets did not go all the way back to where I wanted them to. I don't... That's a fleet. Just... Yeah, don't... That's silly. Um... Yeah, that's, that's very brave of you, but... Very foolish. Oh, we cannot actually... Huh. Oh, no. You... You definitely should not be here. Well... All right. Hmm, 75k. That is quite the fleet. Okay, well, wait up there. Let's uh show them our combined might, shall we? And uh not get whooped in the process. Yeah, we'll We'll run over here. Attack the retreats. 
No, you you guys need to come here. Well, gang up here. These these guys are no joke. A hundred is that a hundred thousand fleet? Ah, damn. Yes, you yeah, these guys are no joke. Still pathetic, but not as pathetic as I thought. Attacking enemy vessels. All right, have yeah. Please upgrade. Vessels upgraded. Please upgrade and reinforce. Um, what is going on here? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care. To be honest, if they want to do that, that's that's cool. Um, where did these ships just come from? Secured. Do they have jump drives? They do have jump drives. They're both 80k though. Hmm. Maybe perhaps we'd be able to take on these fleets, especially since they're splitting up. Attacking enemy vessels. Yeah, just overwhelm them at close range. Yeah, it seems uh, that battleship or corvette spam actually did work out that time. Let's go take out this fleet as well. It seems our main fleets are gathered up. We can go take out these ridiculously, ridiculously Technology strong fleets secured. here and put this Attacking war back in enemy the vessels. correct direction. Finally, we get the mega ship Attacking yard. Enemy it's assets. about time. Attacking enemy vessels. Let's overwhelm these guys. Our ships might not be very expertly crafted, but you can't say they don't have spirits. They even have titans. I haven't built any titans yet. Despite us having the Titan technology. Attacking enemy vessels. Doesn't really matter. And we've overwhelmed the enemy again. Let's see how many losses we are truly taking from this. Not many. Of course, compared to them, we lost a good amount. Because they didn't lose anything in that battle. They lost some in this battle. Not as much as us, but... Again, they're just menacing cruisers. 14,000 minerals. That's... Yeah, I don't... I don't... I don't care even a little bit about that. They are really doing everything they can to evade us here. Attacking enemy oh, vessels. Now we've caught them. And they are running away. As they are battleships. Oh, they they just retreated. How anticlimactic. Oh, we're about to catch these guys. Attacking I assume enemy this vessels. will be a shred. Oh, they have gone Corvette spam on this fleet. Yeah, let's see, um... Yeah, we lost. But that fight... That fight they lost. Alright, well, let's, uh... Do that little... Fun little button. We are gradually winning Attacking more and more space vessels. battles now that our... We are gradually winning more and more space battles now that our fleets are combined and most of them are in this war. Not all of them. We are certainly getting a lot of reinforcements, but uh, yeah, we are pushing them back for sure. Let's see, on this front, how are we doing on this front? We're chasing down a ship. That's exactly what we should be doing. Vessels upgraded. But uh, yeah, the, the tide has turned, but more importantly, we are gaining so much menace from all of these destroyed ships. Can we see? Yeah, we can see a summary. Or no, we cannot. I thought I thought you were able to see how much has come from destroyed ships and how much has come from everything else. I guess you cannot. Not that it, re it doesn't really matter, but yeah. Let's see. How did we do Attacking here? Attacking enemy vessels. Well, we certainly won that battle. Spaceport under attack. Oh no. Vessel production capacity violently diminished. That. Why not? 
What is that? 72,000? Again, nothing is combat, assets. but we just have so much fleet spam ready and willing to kick their butt. Oh, I'm guessing we won this battle. Let's see how many ships we lost. None? Wait. Wait, what happened? Where is the fleet that we were hunting? Did they retreat? Okay, well. Time to go hunt this fleet. Um, have we captured this? These guys... Attacking enemy vessels. These guys just don't surrender, huh? Vessels we have, upgraded. We've been bombing them for a very, very long time. But they are not surrendering. Honestly, I respect it. These people? What, what about these people? Yeah, they're not surrendering either. Well, these guys are very uh, resilient, so I guess we won't. I guess we'll go bomb people that are more willing to surrender. They they lost their entire population Attacking on the planet. Assets. And still didn't. Let alone their armies, so. Respect where it's due. Alright, here's their home system. With their home planets. 1500. Oh, they are necroids. Vessels upgraded. These are necroids? No. What is this? Oh, a Dryden Cannon. Oh, I thought that was a. One of the necroid buildings. And here we are. Their world is about to be. Their home world is about to be trenched. Their capital world. Factory capital. Interesting. Their factory capital is about to be entrenched. Their capital habitat is already gone. And, uh. Our menace is almost there. Attacking 10, enemy vessels. Menace. Looks like, well, by the time this war ends, we should be able to have it. Oh, here we go. Big fight going on here. Are we going to win? I don't really know. Well, that fight we're going to win. Someone else is jumping in, right? Oh, no, we are, we are going after them. Okay, we should probably heal. We should definitely heal at some point. I gotta remember to do that. What about our war over here? Is it going well? Are these guys... These guys are also Chad... Not... No, never surrender gamers. Huh. Well. I might status quo with them. <laughs> like, we can't take their worlds. And uh, they don't really have any fleets to destroy. Huh. What chads? They just, they're just like, yeah, enemy you're assets. bombing us. But I know you don't have any armies. And they're right. I don't. Yeah, we'll, we'll just Attacking keep letting you bomb us. Oh, here we go. I guess I should say out of existence. Attacking enemy assets. Bye bye, homeworld. I guess you see now that you should have been aquatic. Too little, too late, though. Mm. No, this is the world. I'm guessing this is one of their guaranteed worlds. Only 13 size, but 75 pops. A hub of science. Too bad the science is being done on land. That really is a shame. You really shouldn't have done your science on land, buddies. You really should have thought that one through. High Queen Beatrice has died. That means Elizabeth is going to be taking the throne. Attacking enemy vessels. Hmm. There's a council position open. Minister of the Seas. Who wants to be Minister of the Seas? I guess you can be Minister of the Seas, why not? Unless there, until there's a new heir. Public funeral. Yes, we need unity and happiness. What's going on here? Uh, I don't care. Technology secure. Where where is our heir here? There we go. Crown Prince Reginald. Oh. Finally, a male, male heir. Oh, and an admiral as well. Wow. Yeah. Let's uh, let's wait for this to be done here. There you go. I think that's our first admiral as uh, as king since our very first Hubert. Yeah, we don't really need any of those. Um. Speaking of admiral, we have some admirals needing leveled up here, needing to be leveled up. And the shroud needs to be talked to. 
Uh, both of those things I don't really care about. We could honestly start doing auto techs. It doesn't really matter. We have everything we need here. Yeah, just it's just random stuff now. Well, we don't need that. Well, we don't need that either. We'll do destroy your hull points. That would actually be nice. Are we drenching? Yeah, we're drenching. And uh, let's get to bombing the habitat. This is how a lot of the war is going to look, by the way. Drenching the world, bombing the habitat. Yeah. Doing that over and over until they capitulate. Oh, we're demanding a whole bunch of systems, which isn't good. Spaceboat under attack. It's looking like this war is actually never going to end. Because our allies are demanding systems. Well, I guess we'll just use this to farm menace until... Uh, Vessel production capacity violently oh, diminished. Their 100k fleet is back. Wreaking havoc in my ally here. Interesting. Well, it'll all bring menace in the end. Yeah, these chads, these these chads, they do not care. They have no army. Their planet Spaceboat is being devastated. Attack. Their pops are dying. But they could not Attacking care less. They are not assets. surrendering. Oh, here's Wankwart. Zero G research platform. Let's go bomb Wankwart, why not? Technology secured. Another ocean attacking road. enemy vessels. Another beautiful blue. Time for the next one. And then bomb the habitat. Technology secured. This is a mercenary enclave, huh? Attacking enemy assets. Yeah, I don't, I'm not. I'm not really feeling a mercenary enclave, to be honest. Goodbye. Yeah, and then now go back to bombing that, please, if you don't mind. Our war is going about as you can expect, honestly, with our very chaotic empire. I mean, we're not really trying to gain land in this war or even vassals or anything, really. We're mainly doing this war to gather menace. We're nearly there. Only 900 menace left. But uh, the cracks are starting to show. We are being invaded on the home front. We will send our defense fleets and then one to go take care of this menace here. Um, oh, yes. I, I, know, I knew this was going to happen. But uh, hopefully... Okay, it's looking like we are going to need to retreat. I wanted to keep firing at that world because this world is, it's bombable, but not really. It would take a long time. So yeah, I have these Zero -G research fleets coming in. Disrupted. All right, it seems like we could maybe go back to drenching the world now. Yeah, they're jumping out. Cowards. Yeah, we'll leave that there to, uh, to guard. I, I kind of want to chase that fleet, but then again, I kind of don't care. Again. Mainly just for menace, we're doing this. It's another hundred menace there. Spaceport under um, attack. Zero yeah, if it was just for land, platform, I would be doing disrupted. a total war, and we'd have a good amount of land by now. But again, look, these guys bombed down to eleven pops, lost all their pops, lost all their armies. Their their everything is destroyed. But no, they are not giving up. What about these guys? This is technically a different empire here, right? I oh, know that's that's this empire. They don't give up either. Yeah, these guys are just chads, dude. Honestly. What's the status quo? Just nothing? Yeah, honestly. Maybe Attacking if we destroy these, enemy assets. these ships here. Technology Whoa, secured. All at half health here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna lose some ships. For sure. Not that it matters, but... Yeah, let's... Yeah, can we even status quo? They're not even taking status quo, dude. These guys are... These guys are chads. I don't even- I'm not even sure if they have fleets, but they just- Oh look, of course they're chads. <laughs> you might recognize that species portrait. Well, I, I, I genuinely didn't even know that. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave those chads alone. They, they're just- They're just too cool to be bombed. Attacking enemy assets. What's going on here? Spaceboat under attack. Alright, let's- let's take that out and go back. 
Hopefully we won't be interrupted again. Okay, we're definitely not getting interrupted. It's already done. So that big, big world is gone. This fleet is Attacking about to be gone. Attacking enemy vessels. The spam. You can't beat it. You can see when when uh, we've turned from proper empire to just absolute menace. <laughs> Corvette spam menace. Alright, on to the next. Anyway, yeah, I'll keep doing this. We are very close to Max Menace. In fact, even closer than I expected. We are attack. being invaded. Uh, let's gather our ships all together here. We're actually being invaded by quite the force here. That's a hundred thousand right there, with more on the way. Technology Whoa, secured. with two hundred thousand more on the way. These guys are not messing around. Attacking enemy vessels. Let's uh, let's go in. Zero G we research cannot let this 100,000 and the other 200,000 group up, otherwise we will be in trouble. Let's let's get these guys to go here too. I guess we're going to hold them here at... Space Bolt Hunter Quarry. Attack. Oh, yeah. That's, this is a good place to hold them as any. Uh, we are winning this, right? Technology secured. Uh, Vessels destroyed. Are, are we... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, we are not. We are not winning this. Uh... Hackett's Quarry? How many? Okay, 3,000. They don't have enough. Even with 2,000. Wow, okay. Uh, Technology will this be secure. enough to finish them off? Hopefully it will. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Attacking enemy oh, they're healing up. No, don't heal up. We need to get you out of our systems. Man, even then we barely won that. <laughs> it's very unfortunate. They're losing their army, Attacking though. enemy vessels. Oh, that's 100k that jumped in, isn't it? Yeah. Our fleet power is technically 100k, but, uh... Well, you know my fleet design this game. We, yeah, we can have to retreat. If we can even... If we can even retreat. Uh, yeah, this is not... This is not looking good for us. Okay, uh, maybe we don't hold them at Hackett's Quarry. Maybe we hold them somewhere else. Uh, alright. Well, I have... I have an idea. We just build... Well, what is... What, what are all these fleets? Oh my god. What a mess. Oh my good god. Oh my good god. Okay, all of these fleets, please, please merge into one fleet. I just need one mess, not 60 messes. But yes, my solution is spamming menacing destroyers, I think. Sure. Uh, we'll sell everything and buy more minerals for more menacing destroyers. Why not? Yeah, sure. Technology secured. Are these guys merging? Please merge. Yeah, merge. So this is less of a mess. What's going on here? No, you guys... No. You guys need to come back to here, I think. Space boot under attack. Technology secured. Yeah, this is not... This is not good here. Seems Technology like they have brought their main fleets straight to our doorstep. Which doesn't matter too much, for being honest. But spaceport under attack. Attacking enemy vessels. 
I mean, we could always uh, status quo. Oh, we can status quo with these chads. Finally. Yeah, sure. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll peace out. We'll bring these fleets back. These guys aren't doing any good over there. They're just uh, bombing people into nothing and... Well, they are standing strong against it. Technology secured. Use a level up. You do. Go for it, champ. Yeah, sure. Good job, buddies. Uh, these guys would just settle a status quo. So, it's not really a big deal. Like, it's not like we're, uh... Uh-oh, whoa, that... Okay, now this. This is a big deal right here. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's fix that. Um... Yeah, our worlds are pretty mismanaged. I should probably get on that. I've been busy with other things, and it hasn't really mattered up until now just because, well, whatever being in the shroud is helping us made it so that we were so rich it did not matter. But let's see here. Denounced. Wait, they denounced us in the, in the galactic community? Really? So is that a real thing? They really did that. Huh. I must have missed that. I think that's the first time I've ever been denounced. Let's see it. Proposed. I guess it doesn't show it, but yeah. I guess I've been denounced. I guess they're not happy with me. Who are they trying to denounce now? Uh, Quintum Interplanetary Combine. I don't know what that is. Is that one of our allies? No? Eh, whatever. Yeah, we're denounced. Why not? Yeah, shortage of energy credits. Let's cut the scientific investment. Leader lifespan. Damage to rivals. That's not very good. We'll do selected lineage. Um... Wait. Wait. What happened to all the territory that they've amassed over here? Huh? Whoa. Wait. Oh! Over here, the territory that, that was being amassed wasn't even these guys. It was the fucking Chads. Oh my god. Those guys... Those guys were something else, dude. They never surrendered, and they actually brought the fight to my front door and won. I'm actually glad I pieced out with them. <laughs> wow, those guys really won the day. Like, even if they didn't really win anything, they, uh... They won my respect. That is for sure. Let's get this fleet, dude gather up with this fleet. Yeah, they, those guys those guys are definitely those guys definitely won my respect. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> they did more than this big empire over here. There's 43 planet empire Alien versus this formed. 17 planet miner with technology security. planet. Well, I guess they do have a bunch of planets. Habitats mainly. But trust me, I bombed some of their planets and those planets were absolutely technology worthless. Technology secured. Like yeah, that's... Yeah, what... I mean, look Attacking at this. enemy assets. So... Again, just because just you have planets doesn't mean you're powerful. We've learned that over and over again. Um, these guys, do they have any allies? Nope. We could actually just wipe them out. In fact, I will do that with this fleet. This fleet that was attacking the chads, but isn't anymore. I'm just going to wipe them out. How much worse is our fleet in combat now? Probably pretty bad. If it was bad before, it's definitely bad now. With our energy shortage. Attacking Still, enemy you know, assets. Nine months. Yeah, we really shouldn't have let that take over. Space into energy shortage. Attack. 
What is it doing? Minus 20%. Zero G research platform like disrupted. And combat disengagement chance. I guess that ain't too bad. Could be worse. And they surrendered. All right. What what systems do our allies even want? Uh, Gathica, Nendi, and Sabic. Okay, so these three systems, we can we might actually just straight up win this war. Attacking enemy assets. Yeah, because we could just attacking enemy vessels. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to win this war actually. Station under attack. Pirates sighted. Unemployment. Yeah, our planets are are horribly mismanaged. Unfortunately. Also, just overcrowded. Yeah, every planet is overcrowded. Doesn't matter. We're in the end game. I mean, how many how many years do we even have left before the end of the cycle? Get uh, yeah, twenty years. We have twenty years. In fact, we probably have enough crisis now to. Yeah, we do. All right, let's become the crisis. They're all gonna declare war on us this time for sure. But uh, technology secured. Happens, it's not gonna matter. Actually, we should win this war first. Let's win this war first. Because I've now that I've looked at the, the terms, it is a war that we can actually win. Yeah, we're going to capitulate that. And okay, we just have to take these three systems here. If I'm understanding everything correctly. So, we can definitely do that. Um... Yeah, okay. Let's wipe these guys off of the... We have declared war to, to safeguard our interests. Yeah, we'll... Yeah. These guys are bombing, Attacking right? Attacking enemy vessels. Oh, Start bombing. Start bombing, geniuses. Then go hunt this fleet down. Technology secured. So it's getting a little bit laggy. Attacking now. enemy assets. I'm sure my Corvette spam empire is not really helping that. Does this have any armies at all? Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit. We're still minus energy. Wow, three minus three thousand a month. Oh, yikes! Three thousand a month is a yikes. For sure. Oh, well, at least we're all happy. The shroud giveth and the shroud taketh. Is this a world? This is a world. It is a continental world. I know Attacking our ally wants this, assets. but uh, we don't have time to take it, so you're just gonna have to take a brand new ocean world, which is way better than any land world you could ever use. Sitem's fortress is enemy not vessels. much of a fortress, although it does have more armies than normal. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can even help what's going on in these worlds. We don't really have any jobs for them, even if I wanted to go through and micro all of these. Hmm, they'll fix themselves, maybe. Spaceport I wonder what attack. it's like to be bombarded with this much ferocity and still being the lucky one considering Zero your G neighbor planet is about to be drenched. Must be a weird feeling. Yeah, they're losing pops, they're losing buildings, a machine uprising. Where is the machine uprising? Attacking oh, it's, enemy vessels. Oh, it's. Oh, 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 they capitulated. I think our next target may have just revealed themselves. You know what? Yeah. Actually, no. We are we are going to 
start tearing the fabric, which is going to make us public enemy number one way more than we already are, which, of course, let's just, uh, let's just look at the opinion map mode. Yeah. No, we don't have many friends here, actually. Actually, these guys are our only friends. If anything, we should, uh, improve relations with them. Might be our only friends. But yeah, even our vassals hate us. These guys don't hate us, though. They still want our money. But, uh, yeah. Everyone hates us. So, this next step will not be too much of a surprise. But before that, I am going to gather all of our fleets. Every single one. And have them all be upgraded. Wow, I got a lot of clicking to do. But yeah, I'm going to bring them all back. Have them all upgraded. And then I'm going to start with my galactic crusade of using the uh, system destroying weapons. I forget what they're called currently. But, uh, well, let's see. What are they called? Um, star eaters. Yeah, the star eaters. We're going to have the star eaters and they're going to collect uh, dark matter for us. So we're probably going to be destroying the systems of our allies here, considering they are the closest. And uh, these people are all our vassals, so we're not going to get war declared on us by our vassal. At least I don't think. But our allies, yeah, they're going to turn on us when we start to destroy the galaxy. Oh, these guys are federated. Oh, I was fighting... I did not even realize I was fighting the most powerful... Well, besides us, of course, the most powerful entities in the game. The two most powerful entities. I, I legit thought I declared war on this little empire, and this was just a split-up little empire with a um, overlord here. But no, this uh, Sel Selvian whatever organism is actually the third most powerful empire in the game. So, yeah. It seems the chads were... Uh, kind of baiting me there. Honestly, I should have just looked. I mean, their color colors half the galaxy over here. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. That's our plans. We're going to consolidate power, and then we are going to enact our final part of our plan. I don't know how far we'll get, considering you know, the end of the cycle. 17 years. We have 17 years before something bad happens. I also legitimately do not know what the bad thing that happens is because well I have never made a covenant with the end of the cycle before so well yeah yeah we are bombing these guys into oblivion technology <laughs> secure there is no world there anymore oh this is a continental world too we have completely destroyed these two worlds, bombed them into tomb worlds. Goodbye, driven assimilator scum. Should have been in on an ocean world, unlucky. And our energy credits are actually not looking so bad. Uh, Vessels upgraded. Not as bad. Vessels Since, upgraded. Uh, we have our... Vessels upgraded. What's going on here? Oh yeah, the pirates. Vessels getting a little upgraded. Laggy, but yeah, the energy credit situation isn't looking as bad. Vessels upgraded. We've updated our governmental policies to capacity Vessels subsidies upgraded. instead of research subsidies, which technology you know, is good. And we've, we've went to supremacy, of course, because well, we need the naval capacity more than anything, really. Vessels upgraded. And yeah, with all these uh, ships returning home, we are going to have vessels upgraded. A lot of vessels positive, upgraded. Uh, there are a lot of money upgraded. saved when it comes to energy credits and upkeeping these ships, so... But then, of course, it's all going to come crashing down again once we Vessels go to war with the rest upgraded. of the galaxy, which I... I guess I'll start now. I guess I'll start that research now. I know it's going to take us a while to, uh, to actually get back and upgrade and repair and everything, but I think, uh... Well, I mean... Yeah, seven Vessels months. It's upgraded. gonna take us seven months to do that. And end of the cycles in 15 years. Well, we might as well get started. If we lose a little land to our allies and to anyone else while 
while we're recovering. It's fine. We'll just take back that land and maybe we'll even destroy the system. And who knows? Like, like if we lost like these systems or actually, let's see. How useful are you? Oh, you are very useful. Never mind. Okay, never mind. This the system is very very useful. Never mind. Um, add spear, three spiritual psionic pops to that world. Okay. Um, but are they? But are they aquatic though? But are they aquatic though? No. Well then they're slaves. I don't know why you brought them here if they're not aquatic. That was very stupid of you. Vessels upgraded. Comfort the fallen. Yes, comfort the fallen. Vessels upgraded. Wow, look at our diplomatic special weight. project that is complete. Absolutely ridiculous. The final level of crisis progression has been unlocked. Our time has come. A vile enemy has declared yep. war on and us. The galactic community has responded. Looks like our uh, defense pact is broken. How unfortunate. They might have diff they might have broke their defensive pact earlier with me. I, I don't even know, but yeah, we are in total war with the rest of the galaxy. Which, yeah, could be better, could be worse. I'll have to figure this out. Where where is our star eaters? Star eaters, hello. Vessels upgraded. Oh, okay. Here we go. We shall be as God. Vessels upgraded. And then Vessels upgraded. Our star eaters. Yes. How much dark matter do we already have? Um, none. Yeah, we are starting from scratch. I don't know if it deletes it or or not, but yeah, these two star eaters will be the start of our our true dominion over the galaxy. Yeah, I guess we'll start eating our ally. Um, yeah, all these fleets can go can go here and defend our star eaters. Upgraded. The rest of the fleets can stick back and defend as necessary because we are going to be assaulted from all sides here. We are already being assaulted from all sides. Are they at total war with our... Yeah, they are in total war with me and our allies, so... Technology our allies secured. are probably going to fall soon, which is fine. What does the Shroud have to say about all this? Increased happiness? No. Well, I don't think the Shroud is happy that we're taking it over. But that's okay. As the Shroud doesn't look very oceany to me. So, maybe they just need some more water. We are cracking our first Attacking two systems enemy here. Assets. Hopefully the first two of many. With our beautiful cubes. Yes, yeah, so I'm not I'm not worried about cracking my own systems. Uh let's I guess we'll split these guys up. Have them Cover this. It seems our lack of uh, foresight when it came to hyper relays Attacking might bite assets. us a little bit in the butt here. We could use some more mobility in this war, but it's not a huge deal. It really is not. And the atmospheric engine and our ships all being in one place has really helped our energy credits. So it's looking like we're going to. Council agenda available. Oh, that was quick. Get on over to here, buddy. And that's destroyed too. Let's uh, yeah, let's crack that. Recommend research vessel under attack. Our research vessel is under attack. Vessel production capacity violently diminished. I don't think diminished. care about that. Yeah, these guys are on their way. Now, I don't care about all of that nonsense, but I do care about this world here. It's a pretty good world. Yeah, assets. thousand. Yeah, a thousand. Uh, How much is that? Oh, 29,000. Yeah, that's... Attacking enemy vessels. That's not going to... Attacking much enemy damage. assets. Speaking of damage, let's... Replenish anything we need. We've got another crack there. 
Let's advance forward. Is that a... That is a dragon. They have brought a dragon to fight us. Where is the dragon? There's a dragon. Well, it's too bad. I don't really care much about your dragon. In fact, I plan on killing it pretty easily. Attacking Dangerous enemy game. assets. Okay. Attacking They're enemy doing their vessels. first real assault on us. We are going to lose some ships to this for sure. Well, appar uh, apparently not. Oh, what the hell? We just destroyed them. Yeah, we are destroying them now. Suddenly, the game favors my fleet design. That's crazy. 116, 113, yeah. I don't know, I don't know why we're uh, suddenly kicking ass, but we are. Uh, hopefully this doesn't crack while this is in the system. That would be unfortunate. Let's push up. Let's kill, uh, let's kill this dragon, shall we? Vessels upgraded. A dragon is nothing Technology in the way secured. of our wonderful, uh, fleets. Yeah. No. No, no dragon. Vessels upgraded. Could stop us at this point. It's time to die, dragon. You should have chose oceanic perfection. What, what kind of world were you guarding anyway? Vessels A tundra? Upgraded. Eh, it's no wonder you died. Galactic power surge. Hopefully that doesn't spawn Vessels on us. Upgraded. Otherwise we don't really care too much. And this is Vessels destroyed. Upgraded. Soon their capital will be gone with it. Okay, where is where is this? Uh, could be farther, but also could be closer. We we take those. Yeah, we we'll, we take those. Technology but yeah, hopefully secured. the unbidden will not give us too much trouble while we charge up our engine. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that system. That's a very good system. Fifteen energy credits. Actually, that's that's absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. We need the energy or uh, dark matter, but yeah. Hopefully, the unbidden don't don't give us too much trouble in our crusade here. I'm not sure whether we can actually finish it within how many years? Eleven years? Yeah, we we yeah we're not we're not finishing. But we have certainly left our watery mark on the galaxy. But yeah, no one can say that aquatics didn't prove that they are uh, the superior race, even if we, well, even if we fail in the end, we have certainly proven our strength and proven our dominion over the land creatures and sky creatures and space creatures and all the attacking enemy vessels. ghouls of the galaxy. Attacking enemy assets. Attacking yeah, enemy that's vessels. That's what I thought. Your uh, capital system is being cracked, and your dragon is dead. Not much you can do about all that. Um, what's this? Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll set up a sanctuary Space for them. We'll keep them encountered. as pets. Why not? I'm not gonna lie, they have accumulated a worrying amount of forces here. Let's let's see what uh Okay, relative naval strength uh, with me and my allies against the entire galaxy is currently plus three. So we are slightly stronger navally than the rest of the galaxy combined. But with the amount of different fleets they have attacking us from all angles, it's it's not going to be enough in a long sustained war. That is why we are gathering uh, dark matter, of course, to end this war once and for all in a glorious, glorious bombardment. Let's just take these systems. Why don't we? But yes, their their capital is gone. Attacking enemy. And their assets. dragon is now our pet. 
Well, its kids are our pets. The dragon is dead, of course. So we are getting our first look at the Unbidden Fleets, and uh, that is absolutely... Uh, yeah, that is absolutely way too much to fight. Wow. Oh, wow. What what did I put the crisis strength on? Attacking enemy vessels. I thought it was only three times. Is it five times again? Either way, that is a lot. Uh, more than we can really fight long term. I mean, we could maybe defend ourselves. Vessels upgraded. But other than that, yeah, it looks like this part of the galaxy might have to go uncracked for now. Here's our defense fleet. Turning into an offense fleet. Um, Attacking I enemy know how assets. The Baron got up there, but... Oh, one thing I just realized. Oh, this wormhole. Oh, whoa. Uh, wow, that is going to be an issue if the unbidden decide to go through that. Hopefully they do not. Uh, yeah, I just realized the unbidden are closer to my capital than than it would seem yeah if the unbidden jumped to here I mean that would be Attacking enemy devastating assets. absolutely devastating and knowing the unbidden and the crisis yeah that is exactly what they are doing um how do I well first and foremost uh you guys have a new station yeah. We are now defending Port Elizabeth. Is that our current... Yeah. That is our current... Uh, Emperor. Yeah, this stability on this world is not too good, huh? Let's uh, fix that. Mm, oh, we can't fix it. Well... Maybe some amenities. We'll fix it. An insult. We are fools. Maybe. You know what? Maybe. The, the Unbidden might be about to prove that we, yes, are fools. Potentially. Station okay. under attack. What are the Unbidden doing now? Questionable things. They don't seem to be attacking us directly yet. It looks like one of the fleets from the Unbidden is advancing. And luckily we just destroyed this system and are now leaving. But, uh... Technology secure. Depending on where the Unbidden... Oh, no! The Unbidden are bombing Attacking well. enemy vessels. Wow, they are destroying that... Quick. Oh, my God. They're deleting the world. They aren't bombing it. They're just... Pressing the delete... Uh, Attacking enemy vessels. Where are you going? I think we should have enough dark matter now to upgrade the... Yes. It'll be the first upgrade. How many years do we have left? Nine. Huh? Well. Yeah, never know. Yeah, never know. I could consider building more uh, sorry. Attacking enemy of, vessels. You know, upgrading the engine, but at this point we are running out of time. I think we just need to do what we can when we can. Attacking it's enemy risky vessels. having this one fleet split off, but... Attacking enemy assets. That's, that's good. It's fine for now. Attacking right, enemy vessels. They are sitting there. Menacingly. Are they... They're not bombing anymore? Oh, they are. Attacking enemy over. assets. Man, this this mess. That is a large portion of the galaxy's fleets right there. Why don't you guys go focus the unbidden, dude? No? No focusing the unbidden? Nominate custodian. Attacking enemy oh, assets. They're nominating the chads as a custodian. I'd support that if I wasn't kicked out and then declared total war on. For sure. 
Yeah, you're great and all, but here's the thing. You definitely did not come out of the water. Get out of here. It seems like the Great Fallen Empire is not only grooving, but is also waking up to protect us. The Magonian Protectors. Hopefully they'll be able to do something against the Unbidden, and uh, they're one of the only people who hasn't declared war on me, so thank you for that. They obviously see our superior aquatic and spiritualist empire doing the right thing, of course. The only thing that we really can do, which is display our dominance of the aquatic race and display that spiritualism has come to life. Of course it has come to life in a way that is not very beneficial to the majority of the galaxy, as they have let me know by declaring total war on me from all sides. And they have a juggernaut coming in here. Hmm. Yeah, they're about to, uh, they're about to be on our border with a juggernaut. Well, let's, uh, send... Let's send some of our defense fleets down there and... Let's just meet them in battle, why don't we? Destroy their silly little juggernaut. Oh, come on, don't destroy my... My vassal here. I like these guys, they were growing on me. Even though they're not aquatic. What used to be a symbol of peace and prosperity in this side of the galaxy, the Plague Baron Empire and their vassal, allied with me and my block, is now absolutely demolished. I mean, they have rebels, the unbidden, their allies practically smashed into the dust, their dragon is dead, and... Well, this area of the galaxy, I don't even want to talk about what's going on over here. Our allies are not doing too well. Not that we really care. We have pushed them back away from my favorite pet, the little Deneb Empire. They're a hive mind. I did not even know that. But yes, our, our little pet. Oh, wait, no, they're not a hive mind. Wait, did they take the world? Oh, they did take the world. Oh, did they turn these guys into drones? No! No! Okay, 68 of them are still assimilating. Let's, uh, let's, let's take the world back before they... And by take the world back, I mean, of course, bomb it into submission. We gotta leave at least one of these people to not bombard it into absolute dust, otherwise they won't attacking surrender. Attacking enemy vessels. Uh, attacking enemy vessels. Yeah, we need to take back this world. Half the world is already converted into the hive mind. That is not what we want. Our favorite pet is in trouble. But yeah, this uh, technology secured. This once peaceful Attacking part enemy of assets. the galaxy is absolutely in shambles. I mean, we're talking absolutely in shambles. The fallen empire has woken up. The unbidden is tearing through their territory. They've had a rebellion. I don't. I think that's an old rebellion, but still. And this space literally doesn't exist anymore. All the planets and habitats that were here literally don't exist anymore. So it really could not be going worse for these poor people. But you know what they say. There's no more bitter rival than an old friend. These guys were never our friend, though. These guys, these guys always hated us. They were just... They were just put on a leash by our friend. <laughs> Technology I don't know about secured. these guys. I don't even know who these guys are, to be honest. But we are destroying them. That's kind of rough, actually. I don't even know who you are, and I'm harvesting you for dark matter. Well. Should have had better defenses, I suppose. Attacking enemy assets. Is, is this planet one that we want? No, that is a habitat. I do not care about that. Uh, go, go upgrade. Go make yourself useful. How is the Unbidden doing? Attacking enemy assets. Uh, they have yet to go through the wormhole, which is great. We have the majority of our fleet protecting that wormhole. Yeah, we we basically have unemployment on every planet at this point. But look Attacking at our enemy resources. Assets. It, it doesn't matter until this. Uh, end of the cycle happens. We are just swimming in, in resources we don't even need. 
And next crack that. Uh, and then next crack this. Yeah. We are, we are swimming in resources until that happens, and I don't really know what happens. I know that the, when we made the covenant, it said that our time will come Attacking and go. Attacking enemy assets. So, our time has definitely come. Technology I mean, We have declared total war against the galaxy. Well, the galaxy has declared total war against us, and we are currently winning. We are making a name for ourselves, and we are proving that the best place to live is an ocean, and the best species Technology to be secured. is obviously aquatic. Ask these guys whether they wouldn't want to be aquatic or not. Okay, so they finally took over this world. Now what? They're not attacking me. Surprising. Surprising. A welcome surprise, of course. Yeah. Ask, ask those guys whether they would uh, rather be aquatic right now or not. Ask these guys. Let's see, are they aquatic? No. They are stupid rock people living on a stupid space station. Not even close to an ocean. Not even close. I forgot when these guys get a hold of a world, they never give up. So we're not actually taking this world, unfortunately. Um, let's just train a single army at Hackett's Quarry. Whatever the type. We have a... Oh, I thought we did have a... Um, an army military base here. Are we doing this silly stupid thing to save one very unimportant planet? Not even for us, for our ally? Yes. But I like these guys. Station under attack. They, they're probably not going to like us after this. I mean, look at their planet. It's just a giant hive complex with destroyed buildings everywhere. I mean, even when they get back their planet, it's not even going to be the same... At most, they're going to have 16, well, 15 of their people left. <laughs> uh, 14. Vessels upgraded. All right. Let's get you over there. Let's have all of our fleets stop bombarding this, except one, just to make sure we don't kill any more unnecessary pops. We need one fleet to keep bombarding that, too. Make sure the armies don't regen. This is an L gate? No, it's a hyper relay. Yeah, I don't really care Space about taking this under system. attack. I will destroy it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Red alert. The unbidden have caught on to the wormhole, potentially. No. We should take the ascension perk. Yeah, the ascension perk. Fighting the crisis, the one. I forget. Uh, yeah, Defender of the Galaxy. Plus 50% damage to the Abidia. We will be doing that. Um, just because we, we don't have anything else to spend our Ascension perks on. Hopefully these guys choose to go through the wormhole where Planetary I have all of my defenses commenced. instead of snaking up through here. But even if they do, I mean... We should be able to respond quickly enough. A sensor range. We have lost the kingdom. Okay. Here we go. Hey, they're back in charge. Good job, guys. You may be down to eight pops instead of, like, probably the hundreds that you were on earlier. But you have your planet back. Kind of. Station under attack. It, these poor guys. These poor guys have gone through hell. But at least they're alive. Do only to my mercy. So they can thank me for that. It seems like they've amassed a pretty large force to come attack me up through this way, and I Spaceport under attack. I wish I could care, but I kind of don't. Technology secured. I kind of don't care unless they take this station. Actually, we will send some people to go defend that station. Where, um, where are some non-busy fleets? You guys don't seem too busy. Will you make it back here in time? Uh, no, you will not. Well, I guess we could send this fleet. 
down to here. I mean, we have a hyper relay set to it. We just got to watch out for the unbidden. Make sure they don't go through this wormhole. Because if they do, well, that that is bad news. But yeah, we can send our massive fleet. It is a defense fleet, after all. We'll have those guys to go defend the station. Not that it needs it. Charging weapon. Can this take this star base Space alone? Hopefully it can. Under attack. Actually, why risk it? Just go there and we'll move here and... Actually, we'll move to the capital. We'll blow that up next. Why not? Zero G construction okay. vessel under yeah, attack. Unbidden on the move. Vessels destroyed. Oh 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 oh! Whoa, that's it's getting laggy. Let's see what this looks like. Wow, this is a mess. Beautiful mess. Attacking enemy As assets. you can see, they're trying to get away and kite me, but we are hunting them down, and they're gone. Yeah, goodbye, Titan. <laughs> Look at it go. Kabloom. Alright, goodbye. Time to go back and defend. Uh, we'll, we'll send, like, this fleet down here to make sure that clean up the stragglers, why not? Yeah, we'll, we'll send one fleet to go clean up the stragglers. Um, are the Unbidden doing what I think they're doing? Whoa, lag, hello. Oh, wow. Okay, got a little circle there. Um, are the Unbidden doing what I think they're doing? Spaceport under attack. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they definitely are. Oh, yeah, they Technology are. Technology secure. Uh-oh. No? No? Spaceport under attack. They're going here. Well, say goodbye, uh, Mr. Racket Enterprises. <laughs> yeah, say, yeah, say goodbye. Oh, no, they got away. Vessel production okay, capacity are evading diminished. Technology crisis secured. For another day. They might be going up here, though. Let's go to Pencil. Spaceport under attack. Mm, it looks like they might be going for Zol or somewhere else up here, so we might have to bring this fleet back down. Not 100% sure. Let's go give these guys new targets. Goodbye, Capital World. Let's see how big it is. 120 pops. That is a big Space hive. under attack. Gonna be a dead hive. So Attacking let's see. enemy assets. We're going to this system. Yeah, looks like they might be snaking Vessel away. Vessel production up. capacity violently diminished. Can you please stop running away. It's annoying, and I'm not a fan. Yeah, it Attacking looks like they're coming. Enemy vessels. So, uh, no one's near the wormhole, right? No. Okay, so we can safely bring these guys back down here. To fight. Let's reinforce. We haven't reinforced in a while. It seems like they were trying to go for that system, but now that my fleets are there, it realizes it cannot win and it's retreating. Yeah, it was definitely going for this system, but now it's retreating. The question is, is it going to this wormhole? Well, we can test that theory by going back to the wormhole. It's a very good thing we built this hyperlane system from from there to there. In fact, we should build more hyperlanes down through here. Yeah. Mm. We're still holding this point. This is a very, very nice choke point, by the way. Holds off this entire, you know, mess. Our allies are absolutely gone, though. Like. <laughs> But that doesn't, that, it just truly does not matter. It's about to be a huge battle here. Frankly, one, I'm not sure we can win. That's several 100k fleets. And we are not at that level of power. But we will try. 
even more 100k fleets. Yeah, this is not... Okay, hopefully Attacking enemy vessels. we can hold them off for long enough that this cracks. Vessel production the capacity Because if we could catch Space all of these ships, attack. imagine. Imagine if we could catch all of these ships. Yeah, we just need to hold them off until it cracks. Then we would catch all of these ships in in the destruction. Why are you not cracking? Oh, you should be cracking. Are you not cracking? You're fighting instead? Please no. Attacking enemy vessels. No! Crack! Okay. Good luck. Space Unless you mean under attack. I'm the threat that you were talking about, then not good luck. We might actually be able to win this due to them trickling in. Attacking enemy vessels. I really wish technology we would go crack secured. Instead of fighting these fools. Okay, all of these fleets that aren't Yeah, we need to we need to sit here and we need to tear them apart as soon as they get through. That's the only way. Okay, it started charging weapons, so now I think it'll work. Are these guys gonna, gonna come in? No? Are they really retreating? No way. Attacking enemy vessels. They're not retreating, but they're not pushing forward either. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a cool move here where we... We wait for this to charge long Space enough. Space under attack. We'll leave one bait fleet behind. Who wants to be the bait fleet? You can be the bait fleet. Gonna have this. Okay, it's charging, it's charging. Actually, we'll, we'll leave two bait fleets behind. And then the rest of the fleets here. We're gonna retreat. And hopefully that'll bait Attacking these guys into the system. Vessels. Maybe? Potentially? You guys want to come in the system? Firing weapon 50%? Okay, we don't need bait fleets anymore. Wait! It's working. It's working. But we might... We might set it off... Before... No! No, it's working! No, it worked too well! Hold on, maybe we could... Maybe we could do the exact same thing here. Hmm. No, it worked a little bit too well, man. That would have been so cool. Are they gonna come? Enemy presence exposed. Station under oh, attack. Oh, they're interested, they're interested. They might be taking the bait. Please start cracking, start cracking. Okay, they might be taking the bait. Because our fleets, they just go enemy into... Enemy presence exposed. You know, they, go, they retreat, but the enemy fleets, they actually get destroyed if they're caught in the explosion. I think they might be taking the bait. No? No, they're not taking the bait. Damn it. Well. And where are they going? I don't know. Either way. One year. 1.2 years. <laughs> until the end of the cycle, whatever that means for us. I really wish they would have taken the bait. That would have been awesome. Technology secured. Do any of them want to take the bait? No. Enemy presence exposed. Lots of Federation fleets, everything. They're throwing everything at us. They're going this way. Ooh, that's actually not good. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll start to come back around this way. Okay, this is now unguarded, which is not acceptable. We're gonna have to jump that back into our territory. Station under attack. We simply cannot lose this. Uh, wonderful little star eater here. Let's see, are we gonna have enough time to upgrade 400 days? No. <laughs> the Attacking end of the cycle happens just before we finish. Well, 
We made our bed, now we must lie in it. We made this covenant knowing full well Attacking what could happen. Enemy vessels. We had a good run. We had a damn good run. Unimportant on Hackett's quarry, I never thought I'd see the day. One of our star eaters got caught just by one of their juggernauts. Actually the most powerful besides us, of course, of the Federation. Well, are they still the most powerful? No, they're not. They've fallen by the wayside to the chads. But, um, yeah. It's a 1v1 with our Star Eater and their Juggernaut. And a destroyed system. This is a cool scene, to be honest. Vessels upgraded. Spaceport under attack. What is going on? Construction complete. Station under attack. All right, I think it's time to stop messing around. I'm gonna have to retreat that, unfortunately. I'm gonna send in uh, some of our armies to come through the back way, but yeah, we are losing land to the wonderful galactic coalition and we have most of our fleet they could go and contest it but we kind of need to guard this wormhole with our life if we were to theoretically go all the way over here how many days would that take yeah that would take a whole year so we can't unguard the wormhole for a year so we're between a rock and a hard place here a little bit recon and research vessel destroyed but it's fine. Zero G Our time is just about disrupted. ended anyway. 75 days. Huh. 70 days. Well, let's just enjoy our final 70 days together, shall we? Vessel production capacity violently diminished. Technology we'll secured. This. Why not? not attacking enemy vessels. Where are we attacking? Another W. Wow, oh, this is a this is a cool uh, this is a very cool picture here. I'm gonna take a screenshot. That might be the thumbnail. But uh, anyway, <laughs> let's uh, let's go Technology get them. Technology secured. Twenty-five days. Yeah, it is the end times for our species. Let's put it on normal. Attacking enemy vessels. Four, three, two, one. What's happening? <laughs> wow. The end of the Bipartisan Republic of Zion, and the end of the United Alteran League. Our time is up. For 50 years, we have benefited from the immense power given to us by the end of the cycle. We knew there would be a price to pay, but we thought it might be one we could bear, or that we could find some way to avoid paying it. It was not, and we could not. The price we have paid is everything. In an instant, so fast, there is no time to react, let alone respond. The sea where the Imperium is, gone. Where there were once thriving colonies, there are now only death. Where months mighty fleets cross the void, there is only ghosts and debris. All devoured by the end, all taken by the Shroud. All that remains of our empire is a group of exiles led by Beatrice Wilborn I, a powerful psychic who saw the end coming and led a small part of our population into hiding on a world not yet marked by the end. As if our empire was destroyed overnight wasn't bad enough, a massive shroud entity has manifested in space, in the space above Florence, our dear Princess Florence, and made immensely powerful by the devoured consciousness of our psychics, it now roams the galaxy seeking further prey. What have we done? Council agenda what ready. have we done? Half-built 
engine, but Florence is now a psychic shrouded world. Where is our one little planet? All the way over here. Hey guys, would you like to call a status quo? No. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think they're gonna find us. Maybe. Where's our one planet again? Here. In the middle of nowhere. And we can't even build the space station because, yeah. Well, some of the kin survived. <laughs> that is so cool. I've never, I've never done that before. But there goes our empire, in all its glory, leaving a huge hole in the galaxy, where, uh, where we once stood. Many holes here. A larger hole here. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on uh, what happens to this galaxy. We're probably going to be destroyed, but because uh, yeah, we're we're not status quoing out of this war, even though we don't have the crisis engine anymore. It is it is long gone, and our species has left its mark on the galaxy, but has paid the price. Fortunately, the Zol. The Zions have also paid the price, but yeah. I mean that is a fitting end, <laughs> if I if I do say so myself. A truly fitting end. Alright, well I think that's about it. A cataclysmic ending to the wonderful story of the kin. Honestly, this has been maybe one of my favorite playthroughs. I, I did not know about this whole end of the cycle covenant thing. It really, it really created a beautiful story for our empire. Quite the beautiful story. One of pride, one of dominion, but also, as all good stories have, the fall. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, subscribe, or don't, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.